This is a prank call station. Yeah, I, yeah, the light has gone. Light has light has gone out. Well, the timing then has to be. Because everybody is looking out the window. Let's see if I can fix this. This one, I say, So what shall we do with that? So I guess I can just go to the great quality in general. Welcome to To Be Frank, the only Christian podcast that is frank about current issues. My name is Apostle Francis Ajinasari, and this afternoon promises to be fire up in here. <laughs> uh, we're going to look at something very important today, but we're currently live on our social media platforms. So we're live on Precious TV. Uh, the name is Precious TV, and we are also live on uh, YouTube. The name is Precious TV underscore official. You can get interactive with us on our WhatsApp platform. The number is 0203-438-710. Again, 0203-438-710. Last week, we started looking at uh, pressure. We, we started looking at pressure, and specifically, uh, the title was Crazy Pressure, Crazy People. And uh, today, we are going to deviate a little bit because this topic that we're going to treat is very very important to help us discuss we have uh, some friends here kb the mc yep, 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 yep. what's up I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> i thought you said you caught a flu yes but, but you're, you're okay the blood is <laughs> the blood is, uh, is available yes, sir. then we have miss ginger hi miss ginger you're welcome thank you we have lucy hey lucy welcome thank you and then smart the observing journalist how are you doing <laughs> good 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 <laughs> all right so today we are going to be discussing something very very important um the title of today's discussion is is spirituality helping ghana so spirituality in ghana hell or help spirituality in ghana hell mm. or help um but i want us to look at some statistics first and i think it will usher us into our discussion for today and so i was doing some research and i came across some of the uh, top poorest countries in the world and then the top re religious countries in the world so we're going to start by looking at the top religious countries in the world maybe the top 20 most religious countries in the world so if the statistics are ready just um, roll and you will see something very interesting so the top so you can look on the screen the top most religious countries in the world keep scrolling scroll scroll so this is from uh, yahoo finance okay you will see that country number 20 which means the most religious country among the top 20 is tanzania you can see affiliation with religion 99 percent weekly worship attendance 82 wow. percent percentage of people who pray daily 56 percent and perception of relig religion as very important 93 percent and uh, according to the statistics tanzania is predominantly christian but has a sizable muslim minority okay number 19 is congo you can see similar statistics 96 percent uh, affiliation with religion uh, weekly attendance 78 percent and so on keep scrolling please let's keep <laughs> <laughs> keep scrolling so don't don't pause just keep scrolling you see rwanda keep scrolling just let it go please keep scrolling 
<laughs> you, you see, yes, let it go, let it go. Rwanda, Uganda, keep scrolling, please. Predominantly East Africa. Mm -hmm. mm. Guatemala. Guatemala, Cameroon, Chad, Chad Ethiopia, Kenya, Ghana. and then Ghana. Ghana is country number 11. Oh, wait. <laughs> so, out of the top 20, mm -hmm. Ghana is the 11th most religious country in the world. 99% affiliation with religion. Weekly worship attendance, 84%. Percentage of people who pray daily, 76%. And then perception of religion as very important, 89%. Okay, so I think the rest, you can, you can just scroll, scroll through. You see that, uh, l let's go to the top five. So this is top 20. And out of the top 20, we have the top five, the top five most religious countries in the world. So it's the next, the next one, yes, top five. So I've, yes, the top five most religious countries. Nigeria. Nigeria mm. is country, number <laughs> country one. number one. Nigeria. <laughs> country number one. Now, when you look at, uh, okay, let's, let us scroll. Okay, it says Nigeria is one of the largest countries in Africa, has a diverse religious demography with about 55% of the population being Muslim, all 45% identify as Christians. It is the most religious country in the world. Okay, now l l let's go to uh, the very last statistic. Okay. So the very last statistic. So we've seen the top, from the top 20, Tanzania is number 20, Ghana is number 11, and Nigeria is number one. Niger is number three. Nigeria is number one. Mm. So the final statistic we're going to look at, we're going to look at the top poorest countries in the world. Oh, Lord. Now, these are not statistics of poorest countries in Africa, but poorest in countries the in the in world. world. So, producer, let's roll. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Okay. I'm coming to you. So. Okay. So we have the top uh, 30 poorest countries in the world, mm. top <laughs> 30 poorest countries in the world, and you'll be surprised to find out that Nigeria is among the top the top <laughs> 30. So Nigeria is actually country number 30. Um, as I looked at these statistics, mm -hmm. I was wondering, I think the natural question that any objective viewer or inquirer would, would be wondering is, is there a correlation between mm. spirituality and national development? Mm. Spirituality and national development. Because it looks like <laughs> if out of the top 20 most religious countries, you have a number of them that are also among the top 30 poorest, poorest countries, countries, then the obvious question is wh what's going on? Mm. Is spirituality hell or help for national development? in Ghana, in Africa, in any country. What do you guys think? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that, I think that um, for a part of the world, what we need to really try to define for most people is the difference between religiosity and spirituality. Amen. I think that um, <laughs> the African continent happens to be um, a group of people <laughs> Who believe so much in routine they believe so much in practices they believe in rituals they believe in adhering to a certain custom or, or human tradition so much so that they do not even leave room for the space of development and also empowerment they, we we are a group of people who do talk shop instead of more workshop if you go to our workshops we talk more than we work yeah. and so at every event what shows our religiosity is that at every event, even in the offices, regardless of anyone's religion, we want to pray before we do anything. And that prayer, if it fuels our energy to do something better, like it would have been glory to God. But people will go to events, pray at the event, and end up doing the worst at the event. Prophet Kofi Odro asked a very important question the last time. He said, all the ministers that we have, the members of parliament, most of them who happen to be Christians, if you go deep into their churches, they are elders, they are deacons, they, are, they hold positions in church. So the question is, who is stealing the money? When we talk about the help or the hell 
of the presence of spirituality where we are. We all know that we don't want to get into the etymology of religion in the African continent. For I saw Congo in there, I saw Rwanda in there, I saw Uganda. There are a lot of um, war-prone areas that they they were holding on to God to be their hope at the end of the day. So it is likely for us to find them being very religious in their um, country. But whether it's a hell or a hell, I think it is the way we sell it. I'm choosing my words correctly. The way we sell the gospel, the way we sell spirituality in Africa, is always a set of tradition, a set of rituals. The moment one person doesn't agree with this set of customs, we see you to be an outlier, which is very bad because, you know, I always ask myself, what is the end goal for every religion across the world? If you take a look at the spiritual fruits and also the values, and you check all religions, they seem to preach the same thing. Love, patience, kindness, long-suffering, forgiveness, and all that. You can find all these things in almost every religion across the world. People expect us to have that. But why is it difficult for us to have that? Because, you see, in Africa today, people are respected because they are more religious and not spiritual. Spirituality is a little higher than religiosity because religiosity is like someone doing root learning. Like Chancellor Williams will say, the destruction of the black civilization is attributed to a man who can easily recollect something that he was told before, but not necessarily the application of it. So even in schools, it happens. We award those who do rote learning, those who can remember exactly what the teacher said in class. And that's how we see it in church. If you cannot recollect 20 scriptures or 20 verses, you are not Christian enough, you know. And so people who are even committed to doing the things of the, God, of the Lord and may not necessarily quote scripture by chapter and verse, we think you are not there yet and you are shallow. You are not deep enough. So spirituality where we are, the definition is what has directed our decisions as a people. So, so to you, spirituality is what exactly? Spirituality is a growth in finding who you are and who your supreme being who, is. Where from this definition? Because oh, I, it, I, I that, that is how that is how I see it. Okay. I see it as knowing yourself, one, and knowing who your supreme being is or who your creator is. That is how I have de defined um, spirituality for myself. Is, is that to say that if every religious group mm -hmm. applied to the letter? Yeah what their religion said mm -hmm. then our countries will be better off no okay mm -hmm. so what do you mean because be, that, be, be, I, I'm because, not clear. because when we take a look at the denominations that are scattered across the globe it's all based on human tradition one person wakes up and feels like okay the catholics do things this way i want to do it this way mm -hmm. and gives it a name and it becomes a movement and everybody has to join it so there is the charismatic there is the anglicans so you realize that people only debate based on dogma it is not really about in principle what this thing is actually saying for instance i give you a human tradition that we find in the religious setting people say that pay tight record it and have it in book other people feel like no you don't need to record it you can just bring in your money at the end of the day me in principle for me is is the type paid or not whether it was recorded or not recorded for me i don't really care was it paid did the person honor god that is what I would seek to find out at the end of the day. However, you find people wanting to make a big deal out of, no, I don't think what you are doing is right. It must be, it must be this way. It must be that way. So it takes away our essence of living. Because people feel like the more you follow rituals and the more you follow practices, what I was paying attention to when it came to the statistics was the weekly worship, mm -hmm. daily worship. And so someone is comfortable based on the dogma they have been sold in church, is comfortable closing their shop in the face of clients to go and worship. Because they do not think that maybe work must come and also find a place for God in your life. They have been told that when you do that, God will bless you. And so the doctrine that, have, that um, is being sold to them is giving them a different definition as to what life is about. That, that's what I'm saying. What, what, what do you guys think? Well, <laughs> is spirituality necessary for 
maybe yeah i think i can rephrase it that way a spirituality <laughs> necessary for national development <laughs> <laughs> so so i prefer to go that route first before coming back to whether spirituality is hell or help for us but before anybody you kick in when i saw the stars all i saw was well we are all fulfilling scripture because blessed is the poor they never said oh, blessed is the yeah. never, the Bible doesn't say blessed yeah. are the poor. It says blessed are the poor in spirit. I media dia mi hu ya no koma no. Pa chu mon to aso. Ah, I media hona mi hu ya. Pa chu mon to aso. Blessed are the poor in pocket, but blessed are the poor in spirit. Ah, mon to aso. But but what do you think, KB? Do you think spirituality is necessary uh. for national development or you think without spirituality nations can prosper, uh. Ghana can prosper? Okay. No. <laughs> okay. No. So spirituality is absent. Okay. In the African society. Okay. We are religious people. We are not spiritual. Okay. That is the bottom line. Mm. You see. So you you tend to be agreeing with observers. No, but it's true. We are not a re- we are not a spiritual people. We don't even we, we we don't even understand the word spirituality in it says. Now I am going to eliminate every other religion and focus on mine because I'm Christian. I'm going to focus on the Christian people. We don't know what spirituality is. Mm. When you enter the churches, what we do there is religion. Mm. I'll give you an example. Um, two weeks ago, um, we lost a member. I remember I lost his dad, and so we went for the funeral. Mm. And there's a bus full of Christians here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we went. And when we were coming, the driver was playing some song. And can you believe the church full of a bus full of Christians? We had elders in there. Mm. We had like <laughs> it was like the whole it was the whole cross section of the church. Mm. These are people who were jamming. When I say jamming, <laughs> the women yeah, yeah, only the crowd was in there. <laughs> okay. No, because the member has lost the church. We went okay. to come straight with the family. Okay. And we are jamming. And I'm sitting there back and I'm like, ah, are we serious right now? Mm. Are we really doing this right about now? Mm. Because last time I checked. We are supposed to exhibit a certain trait. I mean, certain traits as as Christians, mm-hmm. and I'm talking spiritual Christians. Mm-hmm. So why are we even? And you see, we felt it was so okay. We like we have managed to compartmentalize mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. so much so that we are, as he said, we are able mm-hmm. to do stuff. It's like a cloth that we put on. Mm-hmm. So we wear this when it suits us. Then we put it down. Mm-hmm. Then we go ahead and do other things. Mm-hmm. That is the problem we are facing mm-hmm. in the church. We are not spiritual people we are religious mm-hmm. now when you take the christians there's a lukewarm christian mm. there is a carnal christian mm. and then the spiritual christian mm. when you take the cross section the spiritual christians we are very few mm. majority of us are carnal mm. and lukewarm mm. we are just i don't i don't i can't even begin to but we need to understand that Ghanaians mm. are not spiritual people mm. we are religious mm. today me i've said it anybody quotes me me i'll say and i can defend it to my last because like what he said mm. Sun, it's last week Sunday was Russian Sunday, right? Mm. Oh, you should have seen my church. It was for you, me. I was surprised. Mm. I've <laughs> never seen these people. No, like I turn around and I'm like, hey, now nah, where from these people? <laughs> the church was full, <laughs> like the, and everybody was wearing like white. Like night. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> everybody was wearing white, <laughs> and I was asking myself that prior to Resurrection Sunday, mm. there was Good Friday, mm. there was Holy Thursday, mm. there was Holy Saturday, mm-hmm. and there were programs lined up. Mm. to help us commemorate mm. you should have seen the numbers even myself i'm guilty i, cou- I couldn't go <laughs> but i showed up on sunday and when i turned lord i was shocked mm. and i'm like so what 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 is this mm. so we are not a spiritual people we are a religious people mm. and i'm really not talking about the animized and whatever it is you see most of us at heart we are polytheist we are not monotheist people mm. so we worship we claim and I use that word because I mean it. We claim we love God and all of that, but in our hearts, mm. we subscribe to different gods, mm. different things. Mm. We are never able to truly shake it mm. off. You see, for most of us, we came from a very um, orthodox background. Um, I was born Catholic. I was bred Catholic. I went through the whole shebang. Mm. Did the first communion. Did the you know those. I, I did everything because <laughs> I was born there. Okay. My grandfather even had great plans for me to join one of them. Mm. Yeah, because he wanted somebody to succeed him and. I left. Mm. So now I am the only non-Catholic mm. in my immediate extended family. Mm. So you can imagine what the whole thing is like. So you sh- I struggle. Mm. And, and that is how come I've come to understand that we are 
Sometimes I even find myself doing the doing the <laughs> fact. I, <laughs> see, I just did it. Right? So you see, I just help. Yeah. I just help. I do it, uh-huh. and it is no through fault of mine. But the thing we are doing is we are not. We need to admit, unless we admit that which we are not, we cannot address it. Uh-huh, but I, I, I think the distinction is still not, not clear. very clear for okay. everybody. Okay, now mm-hmm. here's what. The Bible has a clear set mm-hmm. of rules. Not to cut you, Ginger, because okay. the scripture itself says mm-hmm. that this is true religion, taking care of the widows, taking care of orphans, and so on. Mm-hmm. So I usually take issue with people who say, I'm not religious i am spiritual i sometimes i feel the two are not mutually exclusive you can be a spiritual person who is religious well you get it uh-huh. I, 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 they are not antithetical okay so to say that um no the people who are the statistics we saw mm-hmm. church attendance surely that should be symptomatic of some kind of spirituality because for somebody who doesn't care about the unseen world doesn't care about God or because in Smart's definition he was saying uh, consciousness of self and and, uh, and consciousness of the supreme being. If somebody is not conscious of the supreme being, do you are you sure they will be interested in going to church? They'll be interested in taking part in okay. uh, 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 some of the in quote religious activities. Okay, so let's not even let's go back to the basic sociology, the argument of nature and. Nature, nature and nature. nature. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. So what you are alluding to right now is nature. Okay. It's not nature. Mm. Yeah? So they're going to church, satisfying all those things. Mm-hmm. That is your nature. Mm-hmm. You have been br- that's your nurturing, sorry. Mm-hmm. You have been nurtured, socialized mm-hmm. to do those things. Mm-hmm. It has become part and parcel of you. Mm-hmm. So when you don't do it, you feel as though something is missing. Mm-hmm. It's like an addict. Mm-hmm. If you go cold turkey, you're going to suffer the consequences. Mm-hmm. But after a while, your body gets used to it so that is what it is so with that going to church and all of those things though that that doesn't necessarily mean that mm-hmm. you ascribe to the spirituality that the holy bible i mean asks us to do mm-hmm. okay so for most of us it is every morning when we're young oh you dress up sunday morning they'll give you money you go to church and all of that mm-hmm. so you are used to it people go to church now the, even the messages that are the question is what do you come back mm-hmm. conviction has left the church mm-hmm. So I, I think you should narrow down. Uh, okay, so, so get your definition. So conviction uh-huh. has so left. So spirituality is what? For me, spirituality is going according to the dictates of the Bible. I'm a Christian, so I'm using okay. the Bible, right. KJV, to be precise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. It's KJV, King James version. I don't. There are some versions that I mean, yeah. So okay. King James version for me. Okay. So a spiritual person is someone who goes a by the dictates. Uh, a see, spiritual you, Christian. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, so I like to narrow it down because okay. I'm not privy to other what Religions, others do okay. so yeah. a, a spiritual christian is someone who uh, sticks to the, the word as yes, we would say yes okay. applies okay reads it mm-hmm. imbibes it applies it because that is if you read it and you don't apply it okay and, and and to you Ghanaians are not spiritual oh no we are not so Ghanaians who are christian because it is said statistically we have about 76 percent mm-hmm. christians in ghana so to you Ghanaians are not spiritual they are uh, religious in the sense of uh, they are tradition, they, they just like to follow rituals monotony, and traditions. Yes, okay. monotony. It's, it's strictly monotony because it's either, it's either I'm Christian or Muslim. Okay, because when you say the Christian, everybody else, all other um, faiths uh-huh. fall under the Christian umbrella. Okay, so we are all Christians, but, 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 but we are still the someone would argue that I mean, that can't be the case because when you go to you, you so this is not like the one time events like you mentioned Easter or 31st night, but on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. I mean, one sign that what we do teach in church is that if you are spiritual, you would have a life of prayer, for instance. You would read your Bible and all that. And we see this proliferation of prayer meetings, both in person and online. Don't you think if Ghanaians were not spiritual, we wouldn't have so many people interested in in prayer meetings and online prayer? It's to use our guilt, too. They're just <laughs> using our guilt and fulfilling scripture. Okay. Bible clearly says, by their fruits you shall know them. Mm. What fruits are we bearing? Okay. So so to you... It's about the fruits. So to you, the people who are in prayer meetings... Some, uh, some uh, of there are them. people joining <laughs> online <laughs> prayer meetings or so forth, and they're in the rooms with their boyfriend. They just Bless finish you. having sex. And oh. at the end or of they are the going day, back you to ask it. yourself, probably. <laughs> 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 so when... Sometimes I find a problem, but my, my, my go-to word is routine. Okay. 
I find a problem with people who do a lot of routine mm. and they feel like it is the consistency in that routine mm. is what makes you much better in religion than, mm. than me. Okay. So someone feels like, for instance, I give you an example. I'm not going to mention any, but <laughs> there is a link for people to pray. Yeah. You don't jump on it and everybody's like, really? You don't you you don't pray on this link, mm. and I'm asking myself: Is that yeah, link from Nigeria or I'm, from Ghana? Oh, or from, from Africa. Africa. Okay. <laughs> from Africa, Africa, you know. Okay. And I would ask myself: I, I have my personal prayer time. Mm. Do I need a link to justify or validate my prayer life? Mm. No, mm. certainly not. Mm. But the regular Ghanaian Christian would say that I can't believe you don't pray with this link. Because that is where the answers are coming from. Okay. It means that you have made it now a demigod. Okay. That that is the only way through which mm. someone can have a breakthrough. Someone can have a blessing. And it doesn't work like that. Mm. Because if you truly understand the connection of a person with their creator, you know that you need to build a relationship. You need that fellowship to grow. Mm. And you get to the point where you easily communicate mm. with your creator. And you get the answers you're looking for. The moment someone justifies a pathway that if it is not this mm. then that is the reason why you are where you are mm. then we have a problem then you are preaching religion mm. and that religiosity mm -hmm. like i'm saying it's not i, I don't no, i don't understand the, the word yes it's not scriptural it's not the scriptural religion it's not a scriptural religion because okay. you see i agree with ginger okay. by their fruits ye shall know them mm. by their fruits because God in his infinite wisdom knows that at the end of the day, anyone can pretend to be religious. Mm. Anyone at all can go and um, honor their practices, mm. close eyes, lift hands, lie, roll on the floor, mm. and still leave that. Speaking of are, are you insinuating that those who are in the prayer meetings and on the prayer platforms, most of them, because they are in the tens of thousands, mm -hmm. tens of thousands, yeah. are, you, are you insinuating that those people are just... Uh, in, in the words of ginger putting on uh, a cover and they are not really they are not being spiritual i'm saying that a lot of people think that when a lot of people are doing the same thing consistently mm. that is the right way okay but they themselves but who they are themselves a lot of people are questionable okay ourselves included because we all have work to do as christian okay if the bible says that we should work out our salvation i think that people should be focused on working things out for themselves okay. i don't see the reason why Someone will jump on a call and uh, prayer line, pray and finish that mm. and go and sleep next to their boyfriend in their room. Mm. <laughs> um, Apostle, I, I would like to come into your first question mm. of spirituality and mm. um, religion. So I have a definition here. Mm. Spirituality mm. involves a personal quest mm. for meaning in life. Mm. Whilst religion involves an organized entity with rituals mm. and practices focusing on a higher power of God. Mm. Okay, so based on this, because whilst you, you everybody was talking, I was just so reading through. And I think with what Ginger said, I would like to even start from the basis mm. between spirituality and religion. Mm. I think when she what she <laughs> means by we not being spiritual. I will term it as baby Christians. Mm. We haven't grown yet. Oh, baby oh, Christians. Talk about you in bozo. <laughs> 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 so you in no, no, just, just to no, differentiate. You are cut, no, you are cutting them too much slack. No, I, I they are not. So she, she categorized them. They are chewing three. bones. She, she gave that. <laughs> she, gave, she gave the carnal. Yes. The lukewarm. The lukewarm. Yes. And the spiritual. Now, the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is this because. Um, we are more concentrated on the sect, on the processes, on the mm. rituals, mm. but we haven't personalized it to grow it. That's the thing. Because it is when we personalize it mm. and then we make it our daily life, making it, like she said, mm. me too, I can narrow down to what I believe in because I'm a Christian and that is where I can talk most about. Mm. And if we say that the population of Ghana has majority of people being christians and we're still where we are mm. like smart said we are still stealing we are not really moving forward we are we are practically almost stagnant mm. because our greed has overshadowed our growth for the spiritual mm -hmm. things so we go to church all right we pray and he says yes people think that once we jump on a link and we pray people believe in community prayers and um, mm. you know corporate, 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 corporate thank you not 
<laughs> people believe in corporate prayer. Yeah, the assembly of the brethren. Yes, yes, yes. So we do believe in corporate prayers. There is power in it because we come together in one mind mm -hmm. to pray towards a target. Mm. And that also pushes a lot. Mm. We believe in that even as Christians. Mm. That is one. But it is the personalized one. Now, the way that our religious sectors or the practices and the rituals we like the practices and the rituals like she mentioned we come to church a lot during easter festive easter and that is a resurrection sunday not all the others and we call it a, 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 a corporate yes i'm also one and then two when we have to personalize it is then when we have to leave what we think we believe in mm. it is the living aspect that hasn't really made us spiritual so like we still are a religious country honestly mm. because leaving it is the problem making it part of our daily life personalizing it making sure that yes religion believes there is a greater being than anybody so because of that greater being i'm respecting it mm -hmm. now the dictates of the greater being in i think across all religions there are some similarities like smart mentioned the mm -hmm. fruit of a spirit because it cuts across everybody must love everybody must respect be kind and all those things do we show it we show it when it suits us mm -hmm. And that is not being spiritual mm -hmm. because a spiritual being is a step ahead of the religious person. Mm -hmm. And I think we are mostly religious, but not spiritual. But, but, but shouldn't that be to our advantage somehow? So um, you go to countries that are completely godless. Mm -hmm. They have no... They are not godless. I'm, I'm coming. They don't think about they God. They don't God. talk about they God. They don't have freedom to worship people who are spiritual don't have freedom to worship in those countries and yet some would say that in those countries there is significant progress whereas in a country like ours where people talk about god people are interested in god people are showing signs that look i i i, I want to be close to in quote the the supreme being aren't we a step ahead of them in terms of you know we, we've made some progress to be near our creator and yet we find ourselves being among the poorest of countries. Mm -hmm. So, I think, um, wh what do you think is going? I, I don't know if you understand the question I'm asking. I'm not <laughs> your question. Now. I want you to speak. Then oh. I come in. Oh. Yes. <laughs> um, I realized we just came from Easter, so <laughs> um, most of the I'm suspecting right? most of the staff of Ghana National Service maybe they have hangover and so to run on to the <laughs> <age> up. <laughs> if <laughs> I open fire and run, I we call. One night they don't come from. So today they are cruise the from the call. And by the way, I I I I I today I'm going to represent the non-allied movement. Mm. Oh. So non-Christian, non yen yen ni nemu. Aha, it's a we the we we have come. Lukewarm. No, why say lukewarm? Lukewarm is when you're a Christian, you're not doing what a Christian. Yeah. We we are Homo sapiens. We are human beings. Non atheists. Like not they don't belong to anybody. Yes. Yeah. 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 If I'm hungry and I'm told that when I go to this job, I'll eat, we'll go there and go eat. Mm. If I want money, and they say, so when I be, I do bon bon, I'm a laborer, I carry concrete, I'll get mm. 60 Ghana, we will collect. Okay. Uh -huh. If a neighbor's child is not well and I have the resource to take the hands of it, we will take to us. Mm. To us, or to that fraternity, which I'm proxying mm -hmm. as the rep for today <laughs> <laughs> the collective human progress is where our spirituality comes from mm. now when that collective progress became institutionalized denominated branded then we had the offshoot you are seeing anglican shia muslim rastafarian whatever so for some of us what is the quintessence the quintessence is love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you tell me you are a Muslim, you are a Christian, you are a Hindu, you are a Buddhist, and we the humanists, we sit down and realize that anything you are doing is against the, the quintessence, we begin to wonder, then why are you doing it? Mm -hmm. So is spirituality hell or help in Ghana? Now, I would say it is hell because... Hell. Yes, okay. because... Ghanaians, by my research, they knew a supernatural being mm -hmm. or they ascribed to supernatural beings, yeah. beings or mm -hmm. deities mm -hmm. before the organized and well branded institutions came to mm -hmm. our shores. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, when those ones came, they claim 
until the judgment day, until the Muslims, their uh, judgment day or whatever. We are we, we are watching. Mm -hmm. uh, they be the They claim mm -hmm. they have a better way. Mm -hmm. They have a more divinely revealed way to connect with the supernatural that we the non-allied people we claim we we have. Mm -hmm. Now we some of us or majority because uh, eighty five percent of us say okay, if what we have they claim is bad, let's go and try this. Mm -hmm. With this, you have to dress a certain way. Mm -hmm appear a certain way, act a certain way before you are accepted. Okay. Being in mainstream churches, mm -hmm. Islam, whatever, in every Friday I see people in Jalabia. Mm -hmm. Like I look, I see Arabians, literally Arabians in Ghana, <laughs> West Africa. <laughs> yes. Sarcasm to be noted. Good. <laughs> and on Sundays, I see Western Europeans on my streets, in cars, in trotros, mm -hmm. going to a certain collective dome or wow. center or sanctuary or whatever. <laughs> And it has gone on for hundreds of years. Mm. And some of us have sat down and we're like, Eko is saying, mm -hmm. the things it claimed it was going to solve, mm -hmm. it is either has become worse mm -hmm. or it has metamorphosed into another thing mm -hmm. and we are calling it progress. Mm -hmm. Let me give an example. When they came, anything that I have, they are telling me is wrong, mm -hmm. is of the devil. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, if you ask Church of Satan, today I'm, I'm a project. Church of Satan believes it was founded by Anton Levy. For those who don't mm -hmm. know, that uh, I, I'm sure you have a fair idea. Mm -hmm. Anything that Christ is for, yeah, it's almost like it's anti-human. That's what they are. That's what, yeah. They believe Charlie. If Christ love, He should make us happy. Mm -hmm. It's like if you're a Christian and you want your child's schools, you have to go and pray. You have to starve yourself of food. Mm -hmm. Which God does that? Mm -hmm. If your child dies in a train crash or a tsunami, oh, let's still thank God for. The Muslims will tell you, God gives, God takes. I like this. So is God like some sadist? Mm -hmm. You understand? If I wear my traditional clothes, they tell me it's fetish. Mm -hmm. After 100 years, we, we the non-aligned movement, we are not seeing what they, the foreign or the exotic movements that they brought, mm -hmm. what they claim to, the progress of, we have not seen it. <clears throat> so now, today, I want the panelists, including you, <laughs> to convince me that that <laughs> invasion, you know, it has brought what we, the non aligned people, are looking for. That is socioeconomic, uh, independence, health, mm -hmm. uh, well being, mm -hmm. mental health. Like, you guys to prove to me. Okay. So I'm going to tell my people that okay. the Islam, the Didier uh, <laughs> Koko, okay. the uh -huh. Assemblies of God that they brought. Okay. That for now, they're me. I'm not convinced. Okay. Then maybe let, let's also ask you that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So before they came, the, yes. the Christians mm -hmm. came. Uh -huh. What were we doing? Uh, 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 what, 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 okay. Was it working? It was working. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, 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 first of all, <laughs> in architecture, we were in ma mad houses because we're in a tropical environment. It's very warm. Okay. So when we build our mad house, it's very cool within. Mm -hmm. We eat organic food. Mm -hmm. So we grow to be a hundred, one twenty, going mm -hmm. almost like the Methuselah, you guys brought as a role model a benchmark for old age okay we eat fresh coconut mm -hmm. uh, tomatoes blah blah mm -hmm. blah and and it sounds controversial but today not aligned movement so don't see me as no, kb no, no. <laughs> we were marrying more than one because some of we realized some of our men have higher sex drive that testosterone was not the average mm. so they cannot go to the routine of when the wife is pregnant for nine months he can wait and then <laughs> so we don't also endorse <laughs> cheating or going behind <sighs> matrimonial vows so we'll matrimonially give you somebody who their parents have agreed mm -hmm. they are going to do it <laughs> and he's going to do whatever a wife what a husband does to a wife mm -hmm. then they came to tell us that when you have one mm -hmm. it should suffice mm -hmm. so the ones who had higher testosterone or have more needs that one female can whatever no? mm -hmm. they started hiding behind and we're having what it's called illegitimate relationships. What in this modern time is called side chick. Mm. But when we started, there was not like side chick. Mm -hmm. Because what they call side chick is cheating. It's mm -hmm. illegitimate. Mm -hmm. Ours was never legitimate. Mm -hmm. Your, uh, what you call side chick, or what we call your second wife, or your yereketwa, mm -hmm. your parents know. Mm -hmm. He has a husband covering. He has a respect to society. Mm -hmm. So there was not like illegitimate children. It's something that I, it worries me about. When the foreign cultures have a child which is not the one, the one on one, the man, the one man, one woman, they call it like, then they lose the care of a father. Mm -hmm. 
So if you study most Western or most places that monogamy is strongly held as the only divine order, there's a lot of daddy issues, disrespect, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. But with us, you have two, you have three. Mm -hmm. They have the equal protection, mm -hmm. care, financial support, mm -hmm. the mentoring, everything that a father has for it. So mm -hmm. whether the child, uh, the, 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 his third wife, second wife's kid, mm -hmm. they have the same almost like mm -hmm. uh, what uh, the monogamous relationship mm -hmm. was prescribed. Mm -hmm. Now, without uh, uh, ascribing to the foreign ones, we are told we'll go to hell with the devil. Mm -hmm. But we are seeing hell... The devil is already in hell. Okay. Yes. We are seeing hell right now as the foreign ones came. We are even seeing hell before we go and see the, the other hell with the devil. So it's already a double. Mm -hmm. And some of us, we are like, no. Yentiase, <laughs> yempene. So now, I want the so, panelists. So what, what, you still not answer by. So I'm what, saying that. So what progress were we making in our society? Okay. Because as far as I know, mm -hmm. back in the day, mm -hmm. you had things like uh, maybe a chief would die mm -hmm. in some parts of Ghana. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's still practicing. Mm -hmm. yeah. A chief would die, mm -hmm. and they would have to. Kill. They would randomly find young people. Yes. Cut off the heads head. of seven yes. people and bury with the king. Yeah. To be escorts. To, to be, be escorts. Yes. Don't you think this is in some parts of Africa? Mm -hmm. This is like primitive this is the height of yeah. primitive so, culture so so, so so that's just one yes you look at in terms of human rights the value for human rights mm -hmm. what progress had what progress were we story making right now in ghana and for in some parts of africa in some parts of africa you, you you find don't you you find sexagenarians that are marrying people below 15 and so on yeah. i mean you, you, you look at value for human life and you, you are not seen it you, in you, the you, you, you look at you, you mentioned uh, living in mud houses and so on for so many centuries in ghana mm -hmm. that had been the order of the day mm -hmm. but i would argue that since christianity came within a period of 100 years the progress that has been made in ghana is significant progress okay uh -huh. my, my professor in at Trinity Theological Seminary, he comes from one of these traditional areas. And he was like, if you can show me that the old system mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. benefiting the human beings there mm -hmm. and society, ah, then we'll throw away Christianity and we'll follow the old way. So I think in, an, if okay. in one minute okay. you can so, tell us. So there's something called the gap theory. It's divinity comes in when science or humans fail in a certain aspect. Now you're talking about uh, beheading people and the idea was that the belief then or the revelation then was that yeah. the ch the king will still need his escorts will still in the afterlife mm -hmm. yeah. but I think modern times learning, research, anthropology have taught us that it's not the case anymore so it? we the non-aligned movement people, <laughs> we are not static, we are not dogmatic mm -hmm. we Change are time. very we are progressive, fluid. Mm -hmm. we are very fluid mm -hmm. and progressive mm -hmm. ah. now, maybe so we don't we don't behead people to escort people anymore. No, that's a lie. That it is, is not true. mainstreamed uh, anymore. Yeah, it's, it's not there. It's, it's not mainstream it's anymore. Still there. But it exists. As a curfew. It is not mainstream. Yeah, but like, it's Allegedly. not mainstream yes. anymore. Allegedly. In the past, so like maybe two maybe two hundred years ago, yes. people would have oh okay, so it's it's what is if you if your child lose uh, uh, they say so, lose by where they have your child, so be <laughs> by now. It is not means like it will not be, it will be abhorred now, mm -hmm. but and you mentioned a lot about minors, marine minors. Yes. Yeah. Okay. In that some one, countries today, they are yes. So it. now, <laughs> non alignment we science have taught us that there's something else, cervical cancer. We have to wait for females reproductive to, whatever, whatever. So they'll marry young, but they'll not marry at the time that is biologically uh, 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 harmful. Mm -hmm. So we'll marry you young. Mm -hmm. But not at a time that is biologically harmful. You want me to go to school and stuff? <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. We have uh, our informal form of education. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Now, now, we attend formal education because we realize it has benefits. Mm -hmm. So we'll still take our kids to Wesley Girls to learn engineering and that stuff. But we also believe that if there's a, there's a, um, there's a, um, the ecosystem where she wants to marry early mm -hmm. and it will benefit her, we will allow it. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the Western one, change not, you have to finish college, you have to do some master before the conversation no, of even. Do you know why that? Maybe, is? Maybe, when I say change now, my bad. Mm -hmm. 
it's almost as safe if you that. don't get a degree before you marry their, their, their marriage is almost like to have financial child, but it's not necessarily the case there is a there is a reason for that in your submission yes that. yes i want to, to draw your mind to the we are not perfect by the way no no no, no. Yes. i'm just mm -hmm. we, we're having a discussion mm -hmm. so like you said we have to prove it. we are not here to prove anything <laughs> we are here to have a conversation mm -hmm. so you mentioned that um, you would ascribe to the schooling, to the education. Yes, because we, that has we been embrace progress. Anything that is progress, the question, we use cell phone. Exactly. So the question of Apostle was, mm -hmm. before then, mm -hmm. because if you ascribe to the schooling and the education, mm -hmm. it was introduced by the Westerners. We had oral mm -hmm. education. Mm -hmm. Grandfather gathers 6, mm -hmm. 10, 20 people mm -hmm. at his feet mm -hmm. every evening. She has a story, she has That's progress. a lecture. That it's a lecture. Yeah. I mm -hmm. understand that, so but it was not documented. Mm -hmm. So sometimes well, people have conflicting stories. It was stories. documented in human beings. In, in minds. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. By hieroglyphics. Okay. Were, uh, there were people people died, died and past time, yeah. you realize that the story keeps changing because yeah. maybe yeah. the person didn't finish the story with the other person. Something? So the story couldn't Some go. Some cultures are... I'm, I'm talking about the fact that culture has changed primarily because of the introduction of the Western mm -hmm. way of life. Mm -hmm. The building of schools mm -hmm. was by the Westerners. But we have, we have schools. I'm not saying that there were okay. no schools. Let him finish. I didn't say there were no schools. I didn't say there were no schools. I'm saying that there was education. There was education. However, what made it standardized was the documentation mm -hmm. of it. Our way of life was more oral yeah. than it was documented. Yes. So that wasn't standing the test of time. And, and as time went Over on. the years, the yes. story changes. So, and today, you don't have any today, problem with formal education. No, KB, let me, let me laugh. We have embraced let, let now, he The question was, mm -hmm. when you take a look at the growth mm -hmm. over the years, mm -hmm. can you say that there was development mm -hmm. before the introduction of the gospel or Christianity? Then your argument was you would ascribe to education, mm -hmm. which is in the schools. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you that that introduction mm -hmm. was done by the Western world. Not necessarily. <laughs> they <laughs> created a structure. Africans were studying. Uh -huh. We had <laughs> mechanisms where we do agriculture. Uh, it might not be so advanced. Uh, would you let your children, mm -hmm. would you take mm -hmm. your children to that, that type of school? Mm -hmm. Don't forget that. I'm saying that we are not allied. The quick one has to say. So, if it is. Yes. So, don't forget in the past. But, but it says. 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 But the opportunity that has been created was created through Christianity. They don't have a problem with it at all. So, I think that the question is if. Or without the intervention or the advent of Christianity, mm -hmm. do you think that we would have made, made some progress? progress? Okay, yeah. if was Egypt in Africa? Yes, it was. Was Ethiopia in Africa? It was. Was it Masa is. Musa in Africa? He yeah. was. Okay, were they economies? Yeah, they were. Yeah. Were there structures? Were Guardian there civilizations? Empire, were there Guardian marriages? Empire. Were there norms? Yeah. Okay, so my argument is, if we had not been hit by slavery and colonization, we were Which had, we fully participated in. Of course, mm -hmm. because it's economic. And humans, we are economic and political beings. So that is accepted. We are very much mm -hmm. part of the problem. Mm -hmm. We would have had a certain form of civilization mm -hmm. that will also have its merit and demerit. Same way with the West. Mm -hmm. But now, we the non alive <laughs> our problem is that we have deemed the West perfect. Mm -hmm. Anything from the West is perfect. But you and I know that human beings are not perfect it's that only the divine that mm -hmm. we don't know or we we, we are not we've not personalized him here we we, we respect and uh, we pour libation or we revere mm -hmm. but the westerners told us oh he is a this this incarnate and they happen to know him and my problem right now is that anything that is african anything that is native that is good in bible anything that is foreign that is progressive in bible mm -hmm. but it looks like in ghana or in africa mm -hmm. anything foreign which is evil or retrogressive the fact that a non melanated person brought it it a man have to be good because he is flying a plane mm -hmm. he, he made a phone so the fact that he's flying a plane he has a phone he anything of his mm -hmm. is powerful it's correct he sh we should marry one man one woman because he has made an aeroplane he was marrying more wise maybe <laughs> you not continue to do aeroplane so therefore when you marry more than one you are wrong so anything a white man is doing is god that is my point but uh, is that really that, the case? So, so, so now let me okay. conclude and I'll leave you all. So now what is happening is that we have an Android phone and an iOS trying to, but the, the operating systems 
are different. So now what is happening is that we have brought westernization and we have not contextualized it. Uh -huh. <laughs> That is the problem so, so that I, I, the spirituality is feeling in Africa. Okay, I, I think so what the white people brought was not a wrong thing, mm -hmm. but how we assimilate it is what is bringing a caricature we are seeing now. Okay, so, so essentially you are saying Christianity... Christianity, Islam, religion, so, so, I don't have a problem. Okay, it's so, how we are contextually interpreting it. Okay. Blessed are the poor. I started with it's that. Spirit. It's spirit. It's spirit. Don't Maybe take it out of the contest. Don't take it out of the contest. Don't take it That is what you... But the average was, oh, in the past, poor people were assumed that, oh, they go to church, true or false. True. In their it's, past. It's still, it's yes. so, so okay. now, in the past. It's when still you go brought the thing, you have to desensitize it and make it natural in our context. Otherwise, whatever you are doing with all the missionary agenda, it is failing. Okay. So essentially, you are saying that Christianity is good. Islam, whatever that is, Christ Christianity religion. is good. Christianity is the seed. It should have come clothed in an African shell if you like Africa so, so that they race, so that like the essence context no no so, so i mean it's whether in australia yeah, or whatever so i i mean uh -huh. in in an african context i think what you're suggesting is that christianity should have been africanized in terms of no Af no god is not I'm a coming. Christianity no, 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 is no no let me correct it because when you say africa listen to the point i'm making so, so, when, so, when, when so, so let me make my point first no 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 the propagators of the gospel may bow no just let me you haven't you haven't heard the point no the submission he's making makes that i feel he has misunderstood so let me make it why i can say so let me make it first Yes, so any, anywhere Christianity goes, so, so what used, happens so is listen that to, listen listen to, so, so, so let me land first. Okay. <laughs> so I was asking if you meant But that. my non alignment so, is so, not necessarily so, African, so let me, it's native. Uh, so let me land so where is New Zealand, Aboriginal, Aboriginal so, so let me land, Red Indian, let, let, let India, land. wherever. Uh -huh. So were you suggesting yeah. that Christianity, when it was coming to Africa... No, the Abrahamic faith. Let me correct no. that. Because I'm just talking about Christianity, just as a, yeah. Judaism, and Islam. So just as an example. The Abrahamic faith. Just as an example. When Christianity was oh, coming to Africa... The Abrahamic faith. <laughs> just because as an example. some people are Muslim. I know. Still antics. But, but still just, antics, bro. I'm just giving an example. Since you've already uh, accepted that Christianity is one of the, in quotes, Abrahamic, Abrahamic faiths. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, when Christianity was coming to Africa, you would, su you would suggest that it should have come... In an African shell, i.e., uh, the example you gave, the clothing, and I, I understand what you're saying. That, the building. That, that unfortunately today, even in the heat, we have to wear suit and tie mm -hmm. because there's the Western type of Christianity. Mm -hmm. uh, but we could have had the African type of Christianity, and I feel that's what the early Methodists were doing in Ghana. Yeah. So I don't know if it's Quijer, Adger, Agri, and Co. Uh -huh, who would wear the uh, uh, they, they were Christians and they would wear the kente yeah. with the shirt and yeah. things like that. I don't know if that's what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so with our architecture, perhaps we could have Done Africanized. Uh -huh. So your your problem is not with Christianity. Or with God or with the supernatural. Okay. It's about how we are adapting okay. it in our con in the native context. Okay. Um, Whether it's Africa, New Zealand, or Australia. Okay. Um, I also would like to also make a point because um, let's just say that maybe when religion came to Ghana. I mean, we had religion, the, the, like we had... So when Abrahamic faith came. <laughs> <laughs> we when, had when, when Christianity came okay. to Ghana, mm -hmm. okay, so I then, uh, because I, like he said, we demonized what we had, or they helped us demonize what we had mm -hmm. in order to adopt what they had. Mm -hmm. And in adopting what they brought, we took in everything. 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 Mm -hmm without ac assimilating it, without okay. thinking it through, mm. without taking out which ones were good or bad. Because when they came to meet us, most of the things that probably they saw, mm. okay, in order to demonize what we had, you know, because of those, um, those um, gods mm. that we had, we have to do sacrifices, pour blood and all those things in the open. It, it comes with diseases and all other things. Mm. So then... That is what they saw, and that is how come from that point, because there's one thing I've always believed in. What we do not know, what we do not understand, we are quick to demonize it mm -hmm. and then castigate it and rubbish it as non-existent. Mm -hmm. Because we still have Christians of our time who actually think the internet, the television, and all the global you know, platform that we have mm -hmm. is not good, is sort of, in quotes, evil yeah, or demonic. Mm -hmm. Forgetting that 
The same Bible tells us to take the gospel to the ends of the world. And these are things that have been created by human beings who were created by God. Mm -hmm. And by that extension, we are supposed to create things. And so this is, these are ways that are supposed to make us preach the gospel anywhere at any time and no no boundaries anybody can hear it and listen to it and then it will have that impact yeah. so it is the same way we didn't take the time to see through the things that came mm. so that we will adopt those that are good mm. because in time past in christian lives like he said blessed are the poor in spirit mm -hmm. we took it a literal contest yeah. that a good christian that is heaven bound is Should supposed to be poor Times have changed, mm. and, 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 and I thank God for Pentecostalism and Charismatic because it has taught us that we have been able to learn the word by ourselves and also understand it and then use it well. And so why not pick that of the old? I'm not saying that that of the old was good. We are supposed to be poor in spirit in the sense that we are not supposed to be lofty and proud mm. when we have money. Mm. So we are supposed to have money as Christians because the kingdom of God thrives on that. Mm -hmm. We need those things to make those expansions and go there. So either of the two, now that we are in this generation, in our times, we have been able to know the things of the old that we demonized, mm -hmm. that we thought wasn't good. And we are seeing what we jumped on. And then we realized that, well, it wasn't all that rosy. Mm -hmm. There are things coming out of the things that we jumped on. On the basis of Christianity, the word of God is there. But it is left with us to also actually grow our spirituality as religious people. Because, and me, that is where we haven't gotten to. And that is why when we say that is spirituality a hell, it has become a hell for us in Africa. Because if we, are, we had grown, if we are to grow, if we are really to nurture our spirituality and grow, we will not easily brand the things of the past as evil. Because there were good contests in it. Mm. It's the same way we will not easily also brand the things of today as evil. Mm. We will see the evil ones. Because the Bible clearly says that by their fruits we shall know them. Mm. And if we know the fruits that we are also able, we are to, supposed to exhibit as spiritual beings. Mm. And the ones, see, we may not even know the ones we are not supposed to exhibit. But the ones we are supposed to exhibit is there. It mm. has been spelt out for us. Mm. So anything outside of that mm. is not of God and it's not of true spirituality so I think we can still laze both because we have honestly and I think the time that we can make changes of these things is with us mm. because we have the times those after us do not know mm -hmm. and like he said stories that we have said because their stories were not documented it had changed with time mm. because if she tells me something to tell you the way she told me by the time it reaches you even if it's right from me to you it will be different but we have had the knowledge of the time past. We have the knowledge of what is current and what is modern. We mm. can still lace the two mm. and then work with it. Mm. And we'll get that kind of spiritual growth. Because those that brought Christianity, they also started from a point. And believe me, like Apostle said last week, their, their foundation is what is working for them, irrespective of what they are now or mm. where they have gotten to now. Mm. Those that brought it from there, they had a strong foundation. They had a right belief they grew in the right strength of spirituality to lay the foundation for them okay. and it is working for them All and right. if we do likewise it will work for us okay right. you. <laughs> thank you thank you very much observing before you come in so you're watching uh, to be frank and we are discussing whether spirituality in ghana is hell or help for us and we're having different views on this matter I, I i think we're having different views right yeah because you you seem well, to I'm say definitely uh -huh. different. <laughs> okay so kb kb thinks that uh spirituality is not spirituality is not necessary <laughs> for <laughs> national <laughs> development we want to hear what you think about this discussion so please send your comments to our whatsapp line 0203438710 again 0203438710 and please share the link yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very important. Uh, but, but on a very serious note, you know, I think that some people are doing incredible things. Mm. I mean, even people coming from the Christ yeah, especially from the Christian background. Mm. But I I'll show a video and then 
I'll open up the discussion a bit more. So please get interactive with us, 0203438710. You can also uh, send us your message on social media. So Facebook, it's Precious TV Official. YouTube, it's Precious TV. Let's know what you think. But somebody, I, I, I prefer to read the messages as they come so that we don't uh, wait till the end. Somebody, Nana, I believe, Nab Kwesi Boke says, there is a big difference between religion and spirituality. Mm -hmm. And the lady in blue, that's Ginger, joined late, so I missed the name. She's right about the fact that we Ghanaians are religious and not spiritual people. Spirituality is much more intense and broader than religion. Mm. There's a clip from uh, Dr. Otabel. Okay, so the same person says, I really love this discussion. The irony is this. We are not religious beings, but spirituals. Religion is based on another person's perspective about divinity, which is always grounded with a sacred book. Literally, I will say religion is or was invented by a human being. We are spiritual beings. The Bible is not a religious book. Okay, let's hear uh, what Dr. Otabel also says. And then I'll hear your perspectives on this clip. So let's roll the Dr. Otabel video. For many of us, when we're in trouble, in Ghana, we blame the witches and wizards and demonic attacks, spiritual attacks. I can guarantee you most of your problem, about 99.9 .9 is not a spiritual attack. It's a personal attack you have given to yourself. It's based on choices, based on mistakes, it's based on bad choices you're making. And if you keep blaming the witch, you will never reason to solve the problem. So we stop blaming, we face reality, and we start to think, why am I sitting here? Why have I allowed this to happen to me? Why do I keep doing this to myself? Why do I keep making this mistake over and over and over? That's reason. <laughs> okay, that's Dr. Utabo. He, he says 99.9% .9 of our problems are it's based on our personal decisions and our lack of reason, <sighs> etc. Is Dr. Utabo right? Um, I, I want he is right. Now, um, I believe we all went through the ba basic education system and um, being a Ghanaian means you know the national anthem. Has any of us actually sat down and studied the first stanza? Mm. What it says? Mm. It says, God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong, bold to defend forever the cause of freedom and of right. Fill our hearts with true humility. Make us cherish fearless honesty and help us to resist oppressors rule with all our will and might forevermore. Mm. This is just the first stanza. You don't have to be religious or spiritual for this to make you want to be a better person. Mm. And it, it, it's amazing that something as basic as this, mm. we have not even been able mm. to make it work for us as a people. Mm. So the man is right. Mm. Who, um, I think it was um, this gentleman the guy from uh, Pekki who uh, coined it, I've forgotten his name, the older man, Amu mm -hmm. Yeah, the man sat down. I don't think the man was a Christian. I was a Presbyterian, right? Mm -hmm. Before then, he was brought up in a very traditional environment. So ask, where did he get the inspiration to put these words down? Mm -hmm. And we sing this every day. Even today, I was at, an, I was at an event. The president of the land was there. And we sang it. Mm -hmm. Every time he appears, we sing it. Mm. <laughs> no, and you know, the amazing part was... The president of Ghana. Yeah. Okay. So the, the ah, flag... Oh, 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 what are you implying? I'm coming. Okay. The flag was there, mm. and the words were there as well. <laughs> so you're not just singing, yeah. you are seeing yeah, the words. <laughs> and I can count, oh. I can't even count the number of events I have attended mm. that these words have been projected for us. But the question is, how many of us make this work for us mm. do you truly think that if we as a people put put aside religion and spirituality we will be a better people mm. so what the man is saying he's very right what mm. about, he's very very right we are the cause of our own problems mm. no Ghanaian can tell we have the tree version mm. so what are you trying to tell me mm. we have we have it but we are refusing as a people mm -hmm. to make it work for us mm. and we choose to blame other people because because we are lazy mm. Mm. yeah mm -hmm. 
what he said, me, he, I think he has some people but, who hate on but, him. But in, isn't that I found it quite hyperbolic? I thought it was exaggerated. It was exaggerated. And and I, I, I'll say that because ah. I'll say that because I think if there is a place for which if you say only point one percent and therein uh-huh. what you just said is our Ghanaian problem. You just embodied the Ghanaian. The Ghanaian. <laughs> what you just did right now okay. is a practical example. But I'm going to explain. Now, nah, regardless, <laughs> come down, we'll get there. But what you just did right now embodied who we are. What the man spoke about is what. So the man has come out, mm-hmm. said something provocative. That is, what does it do to you? You sit down, take that which he has said, go into yourself, search. We don't do. So what what he has said right now, like what you just did right now, we are maybe over generalizing. He, he's not, the man is not blowing it. Look, we are so. If you see the true Ghanaian, eh, you 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 be disgusted. Mm. And I'm going to me. I'll put. I say this all the time that that thing that we Ghanaians are hostile, blah blah blah. That is a farce. We are not one bit. Mm-hmm. Look. <laughs> and is a what? That hospital. we are hospitable. Oh, a Ghanaian is this, 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 this. Peaceful, Brenda. Yeah. Oh, Brenda, please. We are fearful. We are not peaceful. Mm. <laughs> see, look at the national anthem. It says, make us cherish fearless honesty. Mm. How many of us are honest today? Mm. Let's put somebody say, let's put your Even in our daily dealings, even within our, are we being honest with ourselves as a people? Mm-hmm. Yes, who is a witch? Mm-hmm. Really, do we understand who a witch is? Mm-hmm. That's the question. Mm-hmm. We have, you see, she says something. Give a dog a bad name to hang it. Mm-hmm. If if our mind is is the human nature, if the human mind cannot conceive of something, mm-hmm. what the mind then does is that it has to put it in a box, mm-hmm. so that you understand it. So depending on your level of understanding, that is the level you get to. So if you don't understand something, uh, say you mean a two no girl do a two no. She's not two no. Mm-hmm. She just know who she is and all of that. But we are quick to put people in boxes and then label them. Because until we label them, our minds cannot conceive of it. So it's foreign to us. It's like, it's natural. We repel those things. All right. So the, the reason I disagree with that is, okay. uh, I think 0.1% of, he, he's saying 0.1% of our problems are uh, probably spiritual. But I, I beg to differ. because Aye. Yeah, I beg to differ. Because anybody who who knows a little bit about the spiritual realm knows that there are actual witches. So not witches in the sense of who is a uh, witch? people who want to restrict your progress, but we are talking mm. about people who actually have uh, communication with the occult world, with the with the dark kingdom. Okay. Uh, I'm coming. <laughs> Those people actually exist. And then I think people unfortunately forget the kind of history that most Ghanaians are coming from. Mm. I'm coming. Most Ghanaians are coming from a background of uh, idol worshippers. In my own home, in, let me not say my own, in, in a family member's own hometown, when you go there, you see idols, you see gods in front of each house, okay? From such a background, there are spiritual ramifications. Ah. So, truth be told, there are people who are going through things presently, and it is not because they, it's not because they lack reason or they lack intelligence or intellect or opportunity ah. but it's because genuinely there are spiritual forces that are uh, that are being a hindrance that are them. Exerting yes that are exerting over them ah. now there's a, an example i remember there's this very very beautiful lady in one of these charismatic churches and she's from a family of four sisters now some way somehow each of the sisters is unmarried and they're in their 30s so they came to see a man of god and the man of god prayed for them mysteriously after the prayer, one by one, they all started getting married. In a case like this, I don't think you, we need to attribute it to chance. And we have several examples like that. So in the African context, it's you're not just dealing with uh, intellect and all that. You have people who are professors, but they have a cycle of poverty. You have people who are who are very knowledgeable, but there's this uh, spirit of death, this spirit of, you know, so many things fighting against them. So I think an aspect of spirituality is not just in our... Uh, consciousness of the divine but it is also in engaging with spiritual forces using spiritual weapons and so uh-huh. that is why I think Dr. Otabel's statement in as much as you yes, mean the percentage was too high That's the percentage no. the percentage he attributed he to he ascribed to mm-hmm. our in. own responsibility I, I think it's too I high he is he's spot on mm-hmm. in as much as he 
I, I would only take solace in the fact that he used the word most of the farmers. He said 99.9%. Yes. I can assure you that most of your farmers, so I would only rest on that and not <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, okay. put in percentage, but um, like you're saying, mm -hmm. that's where I agree with him. Um, but even then, it, even then, would he, yes. be, would he be right? So I'm he explaining right. what KB said to put the statement he made yeah. in context. You know, KB was talking about let's not also forget where we are from. Mm -hmm. As Africans, there were certain practices also that were there that were very alien to the westerners that arrived and if we would all admit nobody can stand anywhere and say that they, there are no spiritual forces whatsoever that you like to call it whatever you choose to call it that is how you choose to call it but there is the presence of spirituality in every person's life and there is the unseen world there are things that go on in the unseen world that you and i cannot use our naked eye to discuss the part where i agree with him is um, with um pastor Menzo to build is the power of choice and the power of decision yes, where in our part of the world it has become something that people would delegate to god yes. when god <laughs> when god in this infinite wisdom yes. has said that see i've given you the power i've given you <laughs> you know the yes. knowledge and yes. there are scriptures to back what i'm saying yes. you know there's scripture like um, for the lack of knowledge my people perish and people you. do not have <laughs> knowledge and they are dying in certain mm. situations like for instance you can tell me that you pee at this place you litter the place there are mosquitoes there and there are people dying from mm. malaria mm -hmm. and you would want god to solve that yeah. i or you i would find it if you get a yes you get i would find it very very difficult to believe a situation like that you know there are people who are building in flood prone areas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and when the, the floods come we we gather as a nation to pray for them mm -hmm. when clearly yeah. in the mm -hmm. town and country <laughs> planning project <laughs> that place is earmarked mm -hmm. for the, you know a, a waterway, a waterway. Yeah. you understand me yeah. there are people who are building their containers at the edge of okay. gutters Yo. and I we are okay it. with it mm. and in this nation you can mark it anyway and as we are having the show you can mark it down in june we will have floods coming in <laughs> and we would gather again as a nation to pray for people who have also built in waterways Made choices and, and, decisions. and these are choices and decisions that the nation doesn't want to you know admit to why do i say this development is a process i'm reading from online mm. development is a process that creates growth one progress positive change or the addition of physical economic environmental mm -hmm. social and demographic components so in this case we are talking about what jesus mentioned in luke 252 that um, it says that jesus grew in wisdom for us in africa we will look at it as mental growth yeah. he also grew um, in stature, which is also yeah. the physical yeah. growth. He also grew in favor with God, which is the spiritual growth, and also favor with men, which yes. is the social growth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, when you take a look at the regular Christian, they are more focused on growing in favor with God. Yeah. Some people don't even have a social life, and they are proud of it, yeah. because they think that, oh, you know, um, there, there was something in my mind I really wanted to say. <laughs> it's oh, geez, like, um, they, they don't have a social life and they are proud of it because for them it is they only are introverts. Yes. I, oh, me, 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 yes, they use the scripture. Do not forsake the assembly of the brethren. Hey. But I think that particular scripture, if we understand it in its totality, it is for us to come together as a people and get to reason and get to fellowship and get to understand things better in the faith that we are in. But how about church? Church. church. Yes. But what do we do in church? Also, I can tell you for a fact, there are people who come to church because they're going to meet someone mm -hmm. and discuss a particular business they didn't finish in the course of the week. Mm -hmm. A lot of people today are in church for various reasons. Mm -hmm. Because you come to church, you will still close. Mm -hmm. And after you close, mm -hmm. you get to meet and still fellowship. Mm -hmm. That's why I believe church is not only within the period of the worship praise and the sermon. After these things, there is still the fellowship yeah. between men that's why we have departments mm -hmm. because in these departments is where people get to meet people mm -hmm. people get to talk about what they do mm -hmm. i get to connect you to an opportunity somewhere mm -hmm. and create an avenue for you to also flourish mm -hmm. so what i'm saying is that the development process that we are supposed to experience as a people the westerners hold other people accountable mm -hmm. for the things that they are doing i give you an example something like a child calling 911 on the mother for driving poorly or badly on the road 
I can't seem to fathom what sort of orientation that young man has yeah. for him to call the police and say, my mom is doing something which mm -hmm. I think is wrong. However, if you introduce that into our setting today, it's always about an uncle sleeping with a relative. Yeah. And we do not want to make the person yeah. accountable. Yeah. Second, yeah. like, oh, let's settle this at home. Yeah. Let's, yes, um, thank you for the English. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's settle it at home. Let's not blow it no, out of proportion. Is legal. No, so here's what it is legal, but I'm talking about it the is. excesses. Is. So, you know, that for everything, there are nuances. This particular issue. Is someone sleeping with a relative? Let's not wash our dirty linen uh -huh. in public. Yeah. No, and all these things anything. is what is making us we feel like we are empathetic towards the situation. However, sometimes when that happens, is it really empathy? We are we are giving room for the person to, to thrive, thrive in their Thank bad you. deeds. Thank you. So if you find someone in the neighborhood that a person is new and is sketchy, the regular Westerner will pick up a phone and, and say, "I have place. seen someone, yeah. and I don't yeah, think this person. Is, their profile is a bit sketchy. Could you please check?" Can, can the patrol come around? But here, everyone is okay. We are fine. We are hospitable. We, we, we believe. Uh, we are hospitable. We believe we are hospitable uh, people. We are communal. Uh, we are communal we people. We are lovely. Yeah, we are warm. There are the positives, like I mentioned, the development process. There are the positives of the communal nature of the Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. One, that people get to know each other in the villages. Mm -hmm. When you arrive, I was in um, the Volta region last week. The moment we entered the vicinity, the people knew that yeah, these people are not, yeah. are, are not from here. Yeah. Yeah. Because everyone knows everyone. They're kind of saying, oh, yeah. in the villages. And sometimes when these things happen, it helps with the communal labor. When they call, let's go clean the, the place. Everyone comes out of their home to do something. But take a look at what we have, you know, in, this, Urbanization. in the urban areas. We are the people who claim we are educated. Mm -hmm. We are the ones that claim that we are more spiritual. We are the ones that go to church more Which than the people. people the urban, the urban, oh, okay. the urban, urban, urban. Yeah. Okay. yes, yeah. we urban we believe urban. that we are more civilized, mm. but we are the ones that would litter. Mm. As compared to my grandmother in the village yeah. at um, you know uh, somewhere in Goma, she will not litter. Mm. She would wake up and make sure that the whole place is you know kept clean. Mm. So the development process that we are talking about, there are successes that the African setting has chopped, mm. like raising kids mm. we have some progress we have some successes mm. in there if you go to the western world we can't say same mm. because you cannot even correct your own child mm. you cannot use certain words because the moment you use them certain laws that no have been punishment. you know then there are positives that we have yeah. however when you listen to what lucy said the problem we have is that we claim a sort of spirituality that does not reflect in our Bodies, deeds, yeah. in our doings, mm. in our works. Mm. People will go to a board meeting and pray to steal. Mm. And that is what I don't get. <laughs> so this is a decision problem. And like the, the and, uh, <laughs> no, like see, Pastor Mesa Tabel is saying, this is a choice. Yes, this is a decision yes. problem. Yes. It has nothing to do with a wizard or a, a witch. witch. So a you contract has nothing. No, you see, no, it's true. Also, In this context, also, he is right. Let me let's find a contract. Let's allow him to explain <laughs> why. No, no, no. It is I, not I, no, so no, I no, want to say this. The point. No, I am sure where he is coming from. We have contractors. You know, we have contractors who are taking money to construct a road and put it in the best of condition. And by the time the road is done, three weeks later. After a little rainfall, I'm not talking about even a massive rainfall, a little rainfall, you can so. just see that ah, this road cannot even be compared to what was started for Dr. Kwame Kumar did, you know, some years ago. And people are dying on this stretch. Mm. And you ask yourself, you don't think that act, that deed of the construction of the road, you are contributing to the killing of the people over there? Because you do not think of your neighbor. But what does scripture you. say? Matthew 22, 37 to 39. Mm. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. If you really think about your fellow neighbor, as Ghanaians as we are, after going to church to pray a prayer marathon for nine hours, you still go to the market and hit the base of your kungu. 
so that you can sell a smaller size of maize to your client. Mm. That's cheating. Mm. There are there are some Christians today. Well, that's business. It's not business. <laughs> no, uh, uh, no, that's, that's business. Yeah, strategy. that's business. There are Christians today who are employed by people who thought of them and felt like, let me give you an opportunity. The person gets into the shop and is making money for themselves. Yeah. Mm. And you begin to ask yourself, this person is supposed to be a Christian. And they are praying. And they are praying. Mm. And you call to sack the person, and that person goes home to bring their pastor. Mm. And the pastor comes to beg you. Yes. The pastor forgetting that you've just lost two million new Ghana cities mm. because of someone's negligence or because of someone's bad deed. Mm. I personally do not see how a witch comes into this particular oh, context. They also blame the so witch, there are, in a way, I mean, okay. if they lose their jobs. You know, oh, uh, no. of course, it's the African thing, the blame game. NDC comes, it is MPP. MPP comes, it is NDC. Everybody comes into a certain, a new manager has been employed. He comes here, looks at the situation, and he says, I think that the previous manager didn't do it. Why <laughs> were you hired to come and fix the problem? If we spend more time fixing problems, if we spend more time thinking, I think that most of the solutions that we have as a people are lying in the shelves of libraries. Because for all five of us sitting here, mm -hmm. if we all put to the table the thesis we worked on mm -hmm. and some of the research work and projects we did in the tertiary days, we bit. can tell everyone that, see, we did this project in this community, mm -hmm. we saw a problem, and we thought that this was going to be the solution. Mm -hmm. But what happens to it? Mm -hmm. It is burnt. Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, it is rote learning. It is routine for you to go to school do your thesis, submit to your supervisor for him to go through and just check you. Then you come home with an A4 sheet. Mm. So that is the pride. Mm. We do not want to see in its essence. So we take everything for the letter and not the spirit. Yeah. Because what does the spirit of the word say? Mm. That as Christians, we should be thoughtful of another person. Mm. We should be forbearing. Mm. We should be loving. And if we think about all these things, First Corinthians talks about the fact that there are people who prophesy but have no love. Mm. So if we have these things, if we have these things happening, how do we expect to experience development? Mm. Because someone is quick to point to a wizard or a witch because for them in the marketing of Christianity, it is business, mm. like Ginger said. Mm. For some pastors, it is business mm. because the moment I mention witch, you will bring me money. Mm -hmm. The moment I mention wizard, you will bring me money. If I tell you that you need to do X, Y, Z, you wouldn't do it. Even come back. And you wouldn't come tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. So I would rather ask you to bring a handkerchief. Mm. Let buy me lay salt. hands on the handkerchief. Buy salt. And buy salt. That's I remember my, my late uncle buying pure water for 200 Ghana cities. Mm. That's about six years ago. Uh, so he died. No, I'm, I mean, he's, he's, he's <laughs> passed. So drink two yes, <laughs> 200 Ghana cities <laughs> worth of pure water. Mm. And people What's are water? paying. Oh. <laughs> People are paying consultation fee to meet men of God. And, and that is where my problem is. Mm -hmm. And I stated that earlier. Mm -hmm. The moment people begin to project themselves as the pathway to solution, mm -hmm. there is a problem with that kind of connection with God. Mm -hmm. Because someone can lead you to Christ. Mm -hmm. But scripture has stated emphatically that you need to work it out yourself yeah. with fear and trembling. Yeah. But we have delegated a lot of things mm -hmm. as Christians. It's either it's a witch it is either they must call a pastor. Imagine having an issue around 3 a.m. and you feel like it is a pastor I must call. Mm. That means that you have not decided as a Christian to walk on the path of equipping yourself. Mm. I am not making null and void the purpose and the okay. presence yeah, of corporate of prayer yeah. and also seeking spiritual guidance. Not at all. I'm saying that a lot of people have become so lazy in the faith we profess that everything to them mm -hmm. is subscribed to, you know, a witch a wizard, a bunny. Some people even personalize their problems and say, this is my headache, this is my problem, it will never go. They have personalized it. So they have no room for reasoning. Mm. That is why personally I say that mm. I find truth mm -hmm. in what Pastor Mensah mm -hmm. Otabeo said mm -hmm. because choices <laughs> and decisions have a role to play mm -hmm. in the Christian faith. Because even if they but, preach Christ to you... But there must be a balance. There must be a balance between the role of the individual and then the role of the spiritual environment. Mm. So, so uh, not to cut you, but you, you pick something like uh, the story of the madman of Gadara. Gadara. Yes. So this is a person who probably, you know, all things around him were working fine, but his case was a, prob it was a spiritual case. Mm -hmm. 
So you can't you can't blame him as the individual for what he was going through. You and pick you pick a woman like you pick a woman like the, the is, is it Mary? Mary? No, 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 Mary. Is it? I think it was Mary Magdalene. No, he's a the one out of whom Jesus cast seven devils. Yes. So clearly, and you can go on and on and on. You have people who genuinely have spiritual problems, okay. and I think there must be that balance. I agree with Smart to the extent that we shouldn't we shouldn't uh, relegate to uh, 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 or we shouldn't ascribe to witches that which is not the role of witches yeah. however having said that there must be balance we should play our part we should make our good choices we should reason we should use our intellect and also we should be sensitive to the spiritual realm mm. as well that that's all I, that, that's the kind of balance i wish we would have because it, it almost sounds as if and i don't know if Dr. Otabel in this particular video was saying that, but I've heard many teachers, Bible teachers, told that line where they seem to be saying that, oh, forget witches, forget wizards. It's just your personal decision. But uh, what I'm saying is, what I think is that, that we that as individuals have a part to play, but also the spiritual realm. But my issue is that, let me make this point quickly. I will leave the table for you. My issue is that, this matter about witches and wizards, mm -hmm. sorcery or whatsoever anyone chooses to call it, it is real. It's not just an African thing. Yes, exactly. It's not just an African thing. There are it's witches a in Europe. Yes. Yes. Human there, there, issue. there is sorcery yes. Yes. in the in the in Believe the other world. That, 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 that there people cast openly. spells. Yes. And openly. even in the music industry, we all know how far people need to go to sell their albums. There have been stories of how the industry, Hollywood is run, mm -hmm. musical records are run, sacrifices mm -hmm. that go on. So for me, when people say that, I feel like it is not just an African thing. Mm -hmm. there, there are witches equally in, in America. But most of those witches have been driven out. <laughs> no, they haven't. Through the advent no, of they No, they haven't. No, they have witches conventions. No, they have witches so, conventions. So, no, so, as, they, as you they, said, they Listen, you have to prove you go to No, when you go to a certain US of A, uh -huh. there are witches con uh, yes, conferences. Yeah. Yes, I'm, and when you get so to... What, what, I'm, you, so Ginger, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that mm -hmm. without Christianity... You see, Christianity, yeah, is quite, Christianity is quite old in America and Europe. Yeah. Because and Christianity is, entered... America, for instance... No, but no, not the amazing thing. I'm coming. So Christianity in America, for instance, started, we would say, in the 16th century. So in the 1500s, no, when... So Christianity in America, Christianity in America was introduced in the 16th century with the Puritans. When the Puritans arrived yeah, in America. Yeah, but then it was already in Ethiopia. Now, yes. now, now it's fat. It's quoting Christianity, America. Christianity in America, mm. we would say, has been around for maybe 500 to 600 years. Okay. Whereas Christianity in, let me qualify it, in Sub Saharan Africa, mm -hmm. for instance. Yeah. So Ethiopia is Sub Saharan Africa. Oh, Ethiopia no. is in the north of Africa. Yeah. Ethiopia yes. is Sub Saharan Africa. It's Sub Saharan Africa. It's borders with Tanzania. So, uh, it, it, oh. so West Africa. So let, or let me even say West no. Africa. Say West Africa Christianity in West Africa uh -huh. is very young. Exactly. Okay, which was maybe in That's the eighteen in the eighteenth no century. Excuse. In the eighteenth century. Now, what I'm saying is this: America has had a share of dealing with witches and wizards, etc. Europe has had a share of doing that. Now, when you come to Africa, Africa, because Christianity is still young, we have probably <laughs> in terms of ratio. Many more witches and wizards, and as we are speaking no, now, in many parts of let no, me even, let me even narrow it down to Ghana. We don't in Ghana. No, the only reason you say no is because no. a lot of evangelistic work has been not, done, not and that is how come Ghana. Not, no, not that is how come Ghana, within a short time, has no. become a Christian country. No. Ghana has become seventy six percent Christian because no. of the kind of work no. that has been done. No. But you go to a lot of non Christianized countries, and you have a lot of witchcraft activity to deal a with. Apostle. I disagree with you in the apostle. sense that okay, I'm coming. I disagree with you in the sense that the difference here is the fact that the Western world owns up to that which they believe in. Mm. everything they believe in they own up to it they are open they are honest they are mm. i'll say how you feel is none of my business mm -hmm. okay so they practice witchcraft openly you hear the stories you know these things 
our problem is in who we are as a people. You see, we think uh, witchcraft is uh, prevalent in Ghana because of the way it has been couched. Something secretive. Somebody flying at 3 a.m. Somebody drinking somebody's blood. All these things is happening out there. But they have brought it to the fore in movies mm -hmm. and music. Mm -hmm. And every so they have normalized and it. They made it sexy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. They have normalized it. That is why it looks as though they are they are there, pa. Yeah, but it's 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 yeah, it's, yeah. it's part of our everyday. What movie? Nanya, <laughs> Nanya, Nanya, yeah, Nanya Chronicles. Uh -huh. You watch Nanya Chronicles. Uh -huh. You watch Harry Potter. Uh -huh. You watch uh, there's this one where this girl's uh, the Princess Diaries. Yeah. The Princess Diaries. She started yeah. the where the where they turn the children to mice and yeah. all of that. Yeah. It is not just movies, so mm -hmm. it is called predictive programming. Mm -hmm. That is what they are doing now. Mm -hmm. So everything they want you to feel normal with they will show it to you they, they make it a part and parcel of you so it becomes like uh, waking up and brushing your teeth so you lose your fear of it mm -hmm. whereas in our context we haven't gotten there yet we are still hiding so you see as i said yeah, that which your mind cannot conceive of you have to put it in a box that is why you feel as though they have westernized oh my oh my Oh my, it's sexy. Mm -hmm. Witchcraft is not sexy. Now there are clubs. Mm -hmm. yeah. People are proud. I am a witch. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, they are proud. They call themselves that like, there's white magic and then yeah. they green white magic. There is black magic. Mm -hmm. There is occult. There is all sorts. Even Halloween is some that, nice mm -hmm. party, costume party. Yeah. Yeah. As in, how do you wake up and say, okay, I'm going to go dress as a ghoul? Mm -hmm. Who is a ghoul? Mm -hmm. Who is Who a is witch? The mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So that is what it is. So let us not get it twisted. Mm -hmm. There are no more witches in Ghana than there are in america even if they have more witches than we do because yeah. their witchcraft is a more thing mm. their witchcraft is like you are born is like you are born into rich for life and you have to there are certain schools that before you go to you have to belong to a certain family mm -hmm. and we all know there are certain families mm -hmm. that are that rule up, up, mm -hmm. allegedly yeah. run the world yeah. who are these people you think yeah. what do they start? do you know what they practice mm -hmm. we've read books some of us have had revelations. We've seen all these things as Christians. We know it. Mm -hmm. But yes, too, because they have not. Who are the Ivy League schools? How did they even start? Do you know the history of the Ivy League schools? Well, they were Christian schools. Mm -hmm. I'll leave that. No, I'll but they were Christian that. schools. I'm Come on. But but I'm, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. When you hear, when you, when you hear the history of how some of these industries started and what they subscribe to. You know, um, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams preached a message um, some time back, and he mentioned certain prominent families, and mm -hmm. there are partings. You're talking about the Rockefeller, you're talking about the Kennedys, you're talking about all the Rothschilds and all the of these Rothschild. things. Mm -hmm. We all know no them. Answer. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Let us know. We all <laughs> Let's we talk about <laughs> <laughs> When you call me Kumbu Sunkwasa, when I can't mention his own We all know them. We've all, we've all heard them. The past time is not working today, so <laughs> Uh, we all we thing. all know we've had the conspiracy theories mm. but you know what they do mm. they give it beautiful names mm. conspiracy theories mm. you know blue bloods uh -huh. make your point uh -huh. my point is that what you're saying i don't agree with you in the sense that there are there there, there are more witches there than there are here but we don't want to own up to it mm. we choose to cover it in christianity the mm. same which you are talking about goes to church mm -hmm. and then when he or she is done they go and do that, which because we haven't trained ourselves to get to the point where we haven't worked on ourselves enough to go to identify and repel them. We are lazy when it comes to spiritual things. So therefore, we are not able to identify them and work against them. They're in our challenge. Uh, but, but you still, you still not. Apostle, I, I, yes, I, I'm also rebutting your point in a sense that I believe what mm. Dr. Otago, because my point is this. Whenever a situation happens to us, we are quick not blame somebody blame else. Somebody. But but shouldn't we should even with the mm. scientific approach, shouldn't we be like so if something happens in diagnosing the problem, shouldn't we find out, okay, is this my own doing? Uh -huh. Is this we don't is do that. from an Apostle, external source? Apostle, and the external source could be could this be from my environment? Could it be other Apostle, human beings? Could Apostle, it be evil spirits? How do you, spirits? Di Apostle, so how do you what, diagnose? What, what I'm saying so I didn't disagree with Smart. All I'm saying is that there should be that balance. I think we don't balance The balance is the Holy Spirit, Spirit and, that we don't have. Mm -hmm. The thing that me, I want to believe that the reason why he stated what he said, because rather than just look at one reason, mm -hmm. because usually, okay, when he says 99.99% mm -hmm. is our own doing, mm -hmm. lay the thing at your doorstep. Mm -hmm. Take time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
go through you. They use the it word is, reason. Yes. So go through you. Like you said, reason with yourself. So then start. The Holy Spirit. Because before you jump to what is outside, start. Is it me? For all things. One. Look to yourself first. Could it be the way I talk? Mm-hmm. Analyze it. Analyze the way you talk. Could it be the way I relate to people? Analyze it. Just take it step by step by soldier because I'm not saying, see, it will shock you to know even the one person we are talking about now is so huge. Mm. I don't think he belittles it, mm-hmm. but he wants us to go through a process because when you have done analyzing yourself through and through and you come to the conclusion that because there are certain situations, you can do all that there is. They will tell you that there's no medical this thing mm-hmm. me you didn't go to one place mm-hmm. it is even the reason why sometimes when you go to the hospital for a medical diagnosis they tell you to have a second, second opinion, opinion. Yeah. sometimes even a third to see whether two people will be saying the same thing to ascertain how it will go mm-hmm. so the 99 percent is to go through you through and through mm-hmm. now when you are sure because sometimes which is more often the case we jump on the other person without looking to us mm-hmm. and then we start attacking the thing mm-hmm. and over years we'll be praying and mm-hmm. that spiritual thing will still be prevalent and will still be existing mm-hmm. because we haven't really looked into ourselves mm-hmm. so i believe his comment is to first look at us not just in a fling not just in a minute but go through you as in reason with yourself and decide then when you realize that it is not me but asma it is the one percent <laughs> that is actually tormenting me mm-hmm. then you go all arms at it because it is there he knows that he believes that okay so now i think it's 3 p.m so i'm assuming francis is all, <laughs> even if they woke up late yeah to rest so let me gauge as my apostle <laughs> first of all you corrected yourself by saying christianity is older in america than west africa not africa mm. so that is fact now organism every behavior is, is checked by two things, rewards and punishment. Mm-hmm. The reason last year, last week, I veered just small and probably led to this to this conversation is that even Dr. Otabo, the religious leadership in Ghana, are, he's even talking about us now. Mm-hmm. It's we, the pastors and the imams, so that created the problem. Mm-hmm. Now they are making it that it's the average Ghanaian Christian, the average Ghanaian worshiper, who is the problem. Mm-hmm. The problem w- was with us. When the Westerners came, they needed us to sober up so that they can screw us. Over. <laughs> over. They can like school us or screw us, us over. over. Yes. Over. Because no human being has died for her mankind. The one that the Christians claim died is the son of God. Ni Fabian Wunima ni Pada. So any person that is coming always has a personal interest. Humans are essentialists. We always do things for our survival. So they needed to make us sober. So which part of the Bible would I tell you for you to be sober so that I can take advantage of you? The other ones that talk about sacrifice, build your whatever in heaven, da da da. Now why by the grace of we got the opportunity to go to theology school and became the bishop and blah blah blah. We realize as our day in Mwede, when you make the person wise up too much, you will not get what you want. So we follow with the colonial rule. Yeah. Where the pastor the imam that is a central focal point of the movement, which is supposed to be really, uh, superstitious and not the supernatural being. So the pastor became the person who has to have the flashiest car. What even is funny now is that now pastor's wife are supposed to be the most pretty. <laughs> yeah, it sounds peripheral yeah. as you use it's that. Actually, it's actually almost as if they say, you know, hey, and we don't sell stuff for you, don't sell fun and eat crap. <laughs> When did the beauty of the partner is like he's now a certain head of a monarch? Mm. But Christianity over kind of is almost, if I'm not afraid, it's actually socialist. Yeah. One for all, all for one. Mm. But when the Americans came in, they are capitalists. One person has to be on top and control the resource, the labor. And we interestingly made a mistake and introduced it into Christianity. So now, when you enter a Ghanaian church, where the head sits, me, I'm a Christian, so I, 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 um, I know what I'm saying. It's as if. Are you a religious Christian? It's the holiest of holy. Yeah, it's like you can say that, ah, this one, ah, this one must be the founder's chair. It's like, <laughs> but, but actually, when we're looking for Christ, what if uh, the Roman father, I always say when a kiss, so just kiss. A kiss had to show him. Yes. Mm. He, everyone was wearing Jalabia. Mm. Obia. More. It's like nobody was having some sporty ways, some fresh <laughs> iPhone. It's like in Gary and San Oh, you can tell some sporty. <laughs> <laughs> so, so for Gary perfume crowd, even letting you know that it's him. 
<laughs> so my problem, let's also be careful. The Americans did well. But in our quest to also continue what they did, we have to contextualize it. If we now we are doing Western, we are doing Westernization, not Christianity. Which we have already gone over. Yeah, but uh, for, it, but it's, it seems not to be working. Mm. Oh, but we are correcting it. Are, are, are we over a time? Are we? It's, I think it's it getting worse. So much precedent. For me, it's taking too much. It's, it's, it's how worse. soon we pass the LGBT bill. It tells you that the things that matter to us, we will expedite. Yes. <laughs> Anything that will benefit from, we are very slow to, for example, like to, it's not a political, but MPP and DC, that's because seventy one to win. That yeah. cult, man. Yeah. All more enjoy, so it's very difficult for them to correct the monuments. Yeah, yeah, monument. it's that too that nice. That Hesse benefits me. Yeah, yeah, can't wash them. Yeah, can't wash them. But even when the middle of the move of Akosiwa, no, yeah, it's all trickle down. Yeah. So I'll be very hey. careful. To, but the things that ah, there was the forestry commission. Ah, there's a lot of examples. Yeah. So, <laughs> apostle, what I have a problem with Afri uh, Africa is that let's be proud of what we have. Mm. The positives, let's embrace. In the negatives, let's take it out. If we are a naturally religious people, it's even an advantage for our political leaders. Mm. But rather, what happens is that because they realize we are religious and we everything, the government, you know, yeah. then they will go misbehaving because they know that, for example, recently China, they are and they are they are they are they are Yeah, he was in prison for life. Ghana, mm -hmm. what did he do? He just had to resign. Mm -hmm. There's too little punishment. Did he even resign? Yeah. He was forced to resign. Yeah, there's too little punishment, punishment. for wrongdoing in Africa, mm -hmm. and human beings are. Shape behavior shaped by reward and punishment. Mm. The higher the punishment, the the, the 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 lower the tendency for it to repeat itself. Mm. That's why pedophilia, rape, and the rest mm. is a lot in Africa mm. because the punishment for such things mm. is too low. Mm. It's young can fear. Rape is young can fear. Yes, and why shouldn't be that? Yes. So every behavior that you reward, mm -hmm. it will fester. Oh, yes. yes. That's what I, I that you that's punish, the English word I was thinking. Thinking. So that is the <laughs> reward and punishment. Ah. It the took 36 minutes <laughs> before that. <laughs> so, so now, now the reason last time I was on the full time pastors was that they okay. know mm. now they are going to join the article 7 to now in Ghana. <laughs> churches have also created article 7 to 1 that they, they, they are the untouchables. And even touched on my anointing, no? we, we have made them it. so we have made them untouchable. No, 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 it's really that anything is what, no. When they came, when they went the first, most most churches, the head was uh, uh, some. Uh, some Swedish bro needy Basel missions mm -hmm. half one, then they came. Now when they came, they brought superior stuff that we didn't have. Mm -hmm. So say, so, oh, when you are going to church, when you see a white man, you see him grow because they had to because they were thinking and using their brain more than mm -hmm. us. So obviously, so we respected them more. Then they replaced it with the uh, the early Ghanaian missionaries. Mm -hmm. yeah. What the early Ghanaian missionaries didn't do was that oh, let's separate the Western from the Christ, mm -hmm. the the protocol. From their quintessence, they missed it. Mm. When the software, uh, Bruni software came out, they had to be at a place that there's no mosquitoes because they, they are not in a tropical. So they'll build a certain. If you look at the Cape Coast, and then it's little to a downstairs, the Christian What's and Jesus upstairs. Yeah, then we invite you. So now, if you realize, I saw who did the more they do do. But in a certain case, because Christ was not a monarch, yeah. he wasn't a chief. But now, young people the finish school, seven. they want to become founders of their own church because we didn't decolonize the Bible. Mm. It's now an article 70, uh, 71 holder. Mm -hmm. So if he's in the church and he realizes, ah, he has a gift, he has a gift. No, let me go and start, and then I qualify to the article 71. Mm -hmm. The church members will come and clean my house, will come and do this. Even I'm not even married, I have the opportunity to choose the juiciest female among them because I'm the head founder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now, the white is saying that the BPR you are seeing, it is us, including political leadership. It is us. Everybody it is here. us. Mm -hmm. So that is what I'll, I think what I'm and, and then also, just to add to, it is us in the sense that our actions, the decisions that we make that affect us, does not only affect us. It has ripple effect to affect mm -hmm. other people mm -hmm. because the politician who is himself, his own devil being the 99% will make a decision to benefit himself, yeah. but it will still go against him in the end because mm -hmm. if, if the decision to build a hospital is to siphon money mm -hmm. and the hospital is not built and equipped well to the standard that it will take care of the humans mm -hmm. within the community, mm -hmm. when he gets to be sick, you have to be shipped off somewhere, yeah. whereas you could have been taken care of there right timely in enough country. to mm -hmm. be taken care of mm -hmm. so that you survive. Well, that's why they don't come back. So it has its ripple, ripple effect. Yeah. At the end of the day, would you say that you had all the money to save you, but you died? Is that a witch? Mm. No. Mm. It is our own decision. So, so it is us. Isn't it surprising that we are in a nation 
where we have beaches, we have resorts, we have hotels, but people feel comfortable mm. spending close to 20,000 new Ghana cities to go and look at another country, how it looks like, mm -hmm. just how it looks like, mm. just the way the resort is. Are we saying that the beaches in Ghana cannot be made to look like what we see in Dubai? Yes. That to the point where someone travels to go and look at another beach. <laughs> same and sort of water now. Same <laughs> more. So you see, no. I, want to, I want you to get yes. to the yes. answer. Yes. You are not service, they have resumed work. Someone yes. is comfortable. Ginger Teo. You are Labadi. You are Pam. See, ours is long. Right from Western. Ah. Right from Western. Ah. And down to Tema. People will skip all this okay. because the way it is clean is endearing. Mm -hmm. The way the neighborhood is organized mm -hmm. is endearing. Mm -hmm. The way the structures have been positioned is endearing. Mm -hmm. My question is, what went wrong? Mm -hmm. It was all decision and not witches and no wizards. Yes. At first, oh, Mr. Abbas, at first, <laughs> we all appreciated town and country planning. Mm -hmm. Sanitation was held like uh, it was a town council. The town council, town council. Town council. Town and it was a big thing. Hey, now as a yeah. but some people even pack their rubbish under into their, their roofs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Because you, we yeah. all know that it is important for us to get here. Yeah. We have a president that comes to say, it's not a political talk, but it must well, be said. It's fact. We have a president that comes to say that he would make Accra a, a cleanest, cleanest city. city in africa ah. africa now look at this also i'm trying to do a juxtaposition for you to get <laughs> one man comes to occupy the the ministerial position of greater Accra region he starts cleaning your frontage mm. when he started this sanitation exercise he started clearing traders off the streets yeah. went to the central business district moved everyone from there because you from see the personally as a media person i believe strongly that 70 percent of our filth is from our traders oh yeah mm. because they do not have anywhere to dispose yeah and they are encroaching on the streets mm -hmm. itself they are not in a very mm -hmm. secluded place where some some shops in ghana don't even have a place of convenience most yeah. yes most shops, yeah, most shops. Mm -hmm. you know and we have hawkers but they have and we ask ourselves where do they do their number two and their pp mm -hmm. and their likes mm -hmm. and i believe that if we clear these people mm -hmm. We are inching close to a clean city. I hope it's but, okay to my but Nipa Bako, so I'm coming to that. <laughs> this is a decision problem, mm -hmm. you know. This man does it. The next call he gets is from the Jubilee House. He is told not to repeat that mm -hmm. because if he does it, they will not be voted yeah. again into power. Yeah. So my question is, how is this a witch problem? So most of our problems that we see today, oh, that we else? suffer Isn't from... Isn't it a spirit working in that place? It, oh, it, it is not a spirit. It is not a spirit. You said that is the I reason why... It is why not a spirit. Smart. people in the Smart. Dubai, all of them have the same. Smart. 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 <laughs> that is the reason why when people move from ah. here to the western place, they yeah. don't do a lot of church yeah. because everything is yeah. working. And the yeah. human beings he has an example. are working <laughs> as they are. As an example. He went to Rwanda and was struggling <laughs> because the system was working. Yeah, Even exactly. Kenya has yeah. banned single-use plastic, so, so why are we struggling? Our own brothers and sisters who, who used to be church goers, I'm choosing church goers. Yes. Well. Church goers, yeah. they were praying religiously, mm -hmm. they were attending prayer. They were sharing their link. They were sharing their oh, link. Oh, I mean, <laughs> the moment they <laughs> enter Europe, they say asthma. The, <laughs> the problem. Meanwhile, their <laughs> leaders we claim they are homosexual, so they don't have the spirit of God. They'll go to heaven. But guess what? Yes. So you can use their brain, now. and you will not necessarily be spiritual. But the principles of material world, mm -hmm. it will work for you. Mm -hmm. And if a person is saying mm -hmm. it is witches and where we have more than I'm enough pastors for you to solve the problem. <laughs> it's, it's we have more than enough. Balance. <laughs> Uh, uh, food time no, passes so for our spiritual problem for you guys who look at the of religious me. nature of Nigeria. They have too many passes for them to have spiritual problems. That and is my problem. Nigeria is struggling. Like they should have like one of the thriving economies yes. in Africa. So it shows their problem is not spiritual. It's political. It's structural. It's structural. So you think Nigeria's problem is? 
they are it's not spiritual. routinely religious but are not we are all we are all no, I, I think all. that's the big one no 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 my argument that the problem is not spiritual yeah. so t- attacking the spiritual will not work their problem is structural no but their problem is structural but like i was saying but like i was saying last week it was through the preaching of people like john wesley that England became what it became. But because the it was English, the English, but the structure because, was there the, 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 because yes. of Western no, 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 English no, no, no. Because administration was strong so and hum- and Christianity the monarchy had had on. No. So I would have added to what observing was saying that maybe true spirituality has an aspect of practicality or practical exactly. use. Yeah, but that is uh, yes. but says you bear fruit now. Yeah. Usefulness, yes. 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 Uh, so I think to to throw away spirituality altogether. No, there no, is a don't get it. No, so guess what? No, 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 no. So I think no. I think, there is a place no. for spirituality yes. in development. Yes. 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 No, so we no. can't no. decouple it. But, but that's what we are we saying. We can't no. decouple it. No, please. However, I think, I think what we, we lack, to, that I'm, I'm coming. What we lack is the application. Yes. That's that's how. It's not even the application. We don't even understand. See, our problem number one is our ability to understand. We don't understand it. People read the Bible by rote. Mm-hmm. When they read the Bible, they don't understand what the Bible is saying. When you take the Bible, okay, Bible says that um, it was inspired by the Holy Spirit, right? It was so, therefore, if I inspired the thing, shouldn't you come back to me for explanation? So, but, but even what observing read, the Matthew 22, where Jesus says, uh, you yeah, know, love, uh, love yeah. your neighbor as yeah. yourself. And he goes on to give examples when he gives the story of the Good, good Samaritan. Samaritan yes. So, love is expressed in practical action. Yeah. Yes. So, so, I think true spirituality will have to go with practical use. Yeah, that is the, that is so the that is, food, uh, yeah. So that is where I think observing you and I but, no, I but, agree but, with you. No, calm down. That is what you people are not understanding. Too much, for, no, for example, no, no, right no, now, no, no, no. if we had just 3% oxygen in this room, mm-hmm. and the strongest is the one who gets to breathe it, you will be surprised how Apostle this macho will come. He needs to breathe. That is why Christianity doesn't preach survival of the fittest. That is why Christianity preaches reward and punishment. It is too much poverty. It's we understand the concept of what you see a bunch of us go to church but what is preached yet you and so and 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 yeah, guy, uh, he's a gentleman, right? We have and seven minutes. Yeah, more, okay. So. He's a, so when he comes in, he is not a giddy giddy kind of a person. Okay. So you have to create a convivial atmosphere mm-hmm. for him to stay. Mm-hmm. Do we do that? No. Most of us do not even know where to begin to create that atmosphere. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, we're not even willing to admit to ourselves that we are failing in that aspect. Mm-hmm. Most of us like to form big Christians, baby Christians, and we have heart attacks and all of that. We need to get to the way we need to admit that, look, we are struggling in this area mm. and we need help. Mm. The day we admit that, that is the day we will start to live as true Christians. Mm. You see, because we need to understand the role of God and the role of the Holy Spirit and all of those things. But do most of us even understand that which we think I we need? But the Chinese don't have the Holy Spirit. But, but we have to be deep. You see, that's the thing. It has to be deep. You see, it's either deep or shallow. You see, that's the thing. So let's see. Don't get it twisted. Everyone's saying the Holy Spirit. No, they're talking in the Ghanaian context. They have a spirituality and they use it. Buddhism. 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 Do you know what true Buddhism is? No, do you know Buddhism? Do you know Confucianism? We don't listen to the Holy Spirit. We don't. The Holy, the, the, the we don't. Have the Holy Spirit, they have it they in a different version. Don't get it twisted. Ah, so the Holy Spirit has other versions Wait, of it. Come, I am talking from a Christian perspective. So please, yes. I said I said that the very first time. Uh-huh. There are Chinese Christians. There are Chinese Buddhists. There are Chinese Confucius. Don't get it. But twisted. they are not eighty-six so, percent so like I'm Apostle showed us. That's you see right now. Forget about statistics and everything. We have to cause it's fact. Uh-huh. But then I'm again, coming. the whole Western world is not just made of Christians. Yeah, I was gonna say the Western world was foundationally Christian. It wasn't. And they it they was ne- no, it wasn't. But the Christian foundation still It always wasn't. The integrity you see among the white Indians people. Are not Christians. In, in the I'm saying that the foundations, the when Christianity Christians. started, they imbibed some of the foundations. But there were other things before Christianity came to stay on those yeah, things. Christ, Christ, the world was before Christ came. Exactly. So, of course, we're traditions before Christ let, let, came. Let's, let's open the phone lines. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Well, you, since we have just five minutes. Okay, okay. So, we'll open the phone lines. Let's hear what you think about uh, spirituality in Ghana. I think there has to be a part two to this. Yeah, there, there oh, yeah, most uh-huh. definitely. There so, has to. We, so need, we need to move <laughs> to the mindset and also the democracy. Spirituality in, in Ghana. Is it help or hell? Let's know what you think. Zero two zero 
so let's put the phone line up 0207 10001 yeah, so i'll read a couple and okay. then observing you take the rest bro. so uh one of them that i started reading he says literally i will say religion is or was invented by a human being we are spiritual beings the bible is not a religious book but spiritual mm -hmm. god is not religious jesus is or was not religious jesus is not a christian so is god spirituality i believe is the way for it however i understand as a christian we are likely to demonize spirituality because in spirituality we are talking about high level of meditation the pineal gland chakra or energy points we're talking about the astral world quantum and metaphysics and many more complex practices which we have never been told i think you're watching too much of dr strange <laughs> <laughs> I think we can we can address this later. Good afternoon, host. I am Nana Kwejo. I'm really enjoying your program and the topic of discussion. But I want to ask a question, and my question is, how did the whites who brought the Bible help us to understand what the Bible says since there was a language barrier because we didn't understand their language? So how did we really understand the written... They use translators. Okay. The, the opinion leaders of the... Uh, okay. All right. We have, a, we have a caller on the line. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Yes. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Yeah, my name is Maxwell from Kumase. Maxwell from Kumase, talk to us, Maxwell. All right, uh, first of all, I recommend you guys for the video you are doing. Thank you. Yeah, because I've been following you, I just do my TV or I've been following you. All right, let me go straight uh, to my point. Yeah. I think mean, I was talking to you where uh, the opinion of Pastor Reverend, uh, Reverend Mesa was at the right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, it is true. Yeah. I think I started with the hook. Apostle, right? I don't know the name, but I had the recording apostle, so I'll keep going. You see, the percentage that Pastor Ushabel is uh, delegated on the 99.1% is where I have my problem with. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, we are not saying that all the problem is a force or we should blame or let's say for the reason. No. Mm -hmm. And I think it should be maybe 50 50. Mm -hmm. The 99.1% <laughs> is where I'm searching for confusion here. Yeah. Uh -huh. So trust me, you can get everything correct. Uh -huh. And it has to happen that after you make all the right decisions, you can also come in yes. to speak to your conscience and also to manipulate you to do that. That is it. <laughs> that you is have it. a person, you can go if you can throw into the president and the politics. Uh -huh. A president has a good policy to come uh -huh. and make his people in his life. Uh -huh. But they are soon as they are, they are sent to the team, as in the government, Thank you. I think his point is well noted. Maybe next week we can explore that a bit more. I because mean, because the, the role of the role of spiritual leaders and co that's part of spirituality, yeah, this discussion. We, uh, we should. We are, we are supposed we to. Be we, we can't. Religion, religion, uh, religion is the opium of the masses. So Karl sometimes, Marx, yay. at the end of the day, <laughs> some people can also manipulate what is good yeah. Yeah. to favor them yes. when they realize that there is a large following for it. Yeah. Let, let's pick mm. let's pick another call. So the, the number to call is 0207 <laughs> Okay, so let's pick this caller. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Yes, your name and where you're calling yeah. from, please. I'm, I'm, I'm Myron. I'm calling from Amasaman. Myron from Amasaman. Talk to us. Yes, I'm really following the program and I started calling. Okay. Let's hear you. Go ahead. Come again? Yes. W what do you think about the discussion? <laughs> Um, I'm saying, I, I, I'm really agreeing with what the host is saying. You okay. can't take spirituality oh. um, <laughs> out of the system because the world was built um, by the Spirit of God. Mm. So anything that we mm. need to manifest in the spirit in the flesh has already taken off mm. in the spirit. So you can't subtract spirituality, um, you know, out of, out of the system. So I think I, I second with you. Okay. But um, whatever you do in the spirit will help. Manifest in the, in the flesh. Whatever you do in the in spirit, spirit well, okay. it can be manifested in the flesh. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you do in the spirit will manifest in the flesh. That's essentially what he's saying. 
And so to him, spirituality is very key. It's absolutely necessary. Nobody is saying it's not true. Nobody is saying it's not true. But KB, KB, we never said, oh, no, go to me, go to me, KB said. Everything we said is that we are putting too much premium on that and excusing ourselves. Our responsibility. So let's pick one one more caller. And then observe you, you can read the other. Okay. Okay. Hello, good afternoon. I think we should have opened the phone lines earlier. Yeah, ask another question. Yes, your your name and where you're calling from, please. Please, um, I'm Francis and I'm calling from Kede. Francis from Kede. Oh, Namesake. Wow. Go ahead. <laughs> please go ahead. Let's hear you. What do you think? Yeah, please. Thank you very much for the program. Mm. And you are all emphasizing on a great point. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, but okay. we are talking about 86% of believers in Africa or Christians. Mm. Uh, uh, please turn off the volume in of Ghana. Your t- turn off the volume of and your TV so that we can hear you better. Mute the volume of your TV. Yeah, um, okay. the percent. Please mute the, the volume. Mute, mute the volume of your TV. Let me say and speak from your phone. Yeah, about eighty six percent. I'm saying about thirty percent are like pretending. <laughs> are pretending, and then forty percent are baby Christian. To actually, those who are really mm-hmm. developed and strong Christians mm-hmm. are like about 20%. Mm-hmm. So that is what I have to say. And okay. thank you very much for okay. having me. Okay. Thank you. Thank I you. think he agrees with me that yeah. the canal <laughs> ones are there. The canal, the, the lukewarm ones. ones to are there. And we have the correct So, so let, 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 let's, let's close the phone lines. I, there's another caller, but our time is up. So mm-hmm. I'm just having just read some of them and then mm-hmm. you can go. Okay. Um, let's take this one. Uh, good afternoon, host. I am Nana Kujo. I am really enjoying the program and the topic of I discussion. We, I read this one. So, uh, uh-huh. Stephen Man- so, uh-huh. so he... Okay, uh-huh. all right. Stephen Manyok. Mm-hmm. Uh, Apostle Francis, good afternoon to you and your panelists. I'm blessed by this program. Inside Kumasi, God bless you. Hello, guys. I really love the conversation, but you guys should bear in mind that when you sign a deal with the devil or a witch, they don't come after you anymore because they are done with you now. They have to go and look for another client. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's written from Obuase in the Asati region. Perry Baden says, hmm, this discussion is really interesting. I think the issue of development is a problem of mindset. The Europeans have Christianity and occult groups, mm. same here in Africa. Mm. And yet we have problems that we have not been solved, unlike the white men. Mm. Problems that have not been solved, rather, unlike mm. the white men. Th- this is a big conversation mm. about mindset. I think that we'll jump to Romans 12 to mm. later next week, maybe, <laughs> to check the renewing of the, the mind, mind. Because yeah. there's too much that needs to be done, even when... A driver is over speeding on your way to Kumasi and you complain. They were, I, I don't want to know Kumasi can be done. No, it is your fellow passengers <laughs> who will be waiting. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> okay, so, part two next week. It must happen. Uh, part two. We'll Here look we. at the leaders uh, and the role they play okay, okay. when they get the chance to stand behind the pulpit. Mm. Some of the things they say mm. have great impact and influence mm. in the mm. lives of the congregants. Mm. And then they're young can. It is and our fault. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I was like, like Barrier, when they bring uh, in the right. you the are supposed thank you to go so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, KB. Thank you, Ginger. Sure. Lucy, observing. God bless you. I've been Apostle Francis Ajinasari. See you same time next week on To Be Frank. God bless you. Have a nice week. Bye-bye.